don't you he do that? He don't care. Uh, he's, he's a cares. son of a bitch. I don't he care. He cares yeah, about he's himself. He's a goddamn. I don't nut. care. Son of a bitch. I don't care. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm Why would you letter. do this? Fuck you. I don't care. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. I can't believe you've done this. Okay. Save that Hi, die for everyone. later. Hey. <laughs> Hey. Howdy. Hi. Howdy, howdy. Do we howdy. have another glass down here? No, because I cleaned up your glasses. <laughs> uh, My glasses. You did what? Any of the like, this cups water and out, stuff, this. I take it That's upstairs. That's last week's water. It's probably fine. You cleaned up. The glasses and plates, yes. Because yeah. you guys don't take them upstairs. Why don't I? Here. I'll just get that <laughs> bottle to right. half. We're the reason this studio looks the way it does. I'll get that bottle I said half glasses. Half. Nah, nah, I'll just drink it. I didn't say cleaned up the studio. I said cleaned up the glasses. Tell me one. Hello, Aquaka. Mm. Hello. It's been some time, friend. How are you? Oh. I wish we could yeah, see this, that this chat. Thing's, but yeah. multi-stream is a lie. You could no, go like, on your phone to youtube.com slash podcast. Yeah, yeah. No, no phones to right now. I have, to, I have to have legal. Discord open yeah. for reasons, so I can't. I have a phone on my table. My phone is is on Discord because I need it. And Phil's watching hockey on his. I'm phone. watching hockey. Of course he is. Why? <laughs> they suck. <laughs> They're second in the division, right? No. They lost to what, the right worst the team or something. Oh, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Browns. Five game losing streak. We lost the Browns. Well, I mean yeah. the Pens just beat the. Somebody posted a meme about really how good. every Philadelphia team is just disappointing to the utmost. Yeah. Like the Flyers it's... lost to the second worst team in the entire we league or something. To the, we lost five nothing to uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, who have roughly five wins this season. <laughs> Woof. Yeah. There you go. How many games do you play in a hockey season? Eighty-two. Wow. A thousand. Ooh. That's crazy. No, That's a I mean bad te ratio. Technically, the Blackhawks have won like twenty games. But but still, uh, yeah. That's rough. You're one so of those last twenty. Night, last night I watched the, f as we were watching the crow, I watched terrible movie. The uh, <laughs> I watched the Flyers lose, and then I watched the Phillies lose, mm -hmm. and then I watched LSU's women's team lose. So mm -hmm. we oh. were just a losing. Roll Tide. I didn't know you spoiled it for me. Sadness. Well, you know what? You, if had you didn't know that you didn't care. What's didn't not care, sad huh? is that we had a package. Delivered to the studio. It's got hearts on it. It's probably for me. Um, it was sent here by viewer Multicolored Mind. It's true. Ooh. Um, so why don't you open it up and uh, see what you comes out scooch of over. It. Yeah, scooch over to your left there. Phil. What's it smell like? <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> why are you smelling it? <laughs> I asked him what it smelled like. It smells like bubble wrap. Ooh, this is laden. Oh, let me see this one. Smell that bubble wrap. Yeah, That's got a heart on it. Lots of hearts. Okay, it's got a heart. Got it. Feels like uh, powder. No, could be wires. <laughs> could be wires. I'll just What's put my face up against noise? this. Oh, it's a card. Is it money? What's in this card? <laughs> Is it money? Oh, it's buttons. Oh boy. There's a lot of there's a button for everybody, even Steve, except well, he's not here. So this is my button. Is that a button? <laughs> is that the button to button up the, my shirt? Is that what that's for? <laughs> Hello, botched crew! Exclamation point. I'm a long time watcher, since about two weeks ago, <laughs> comma, and I love this pod! Exclamation point. The live streams are so fun, and I can't wait to watch more! Exclamation point. Enjoy these buttons. Parenthetical plus an extra one for Dennis because he's my favorite. Blech. Exclamation point and parenthetical. <laughs> Love. Uh, you didn't say the letter. It's no, I don't want a multicolored mind. There you go. Bam. You go. Thank you. Let's look at these buttons. <laughs> Thank nice you. Flowers. Thank you for them. that and the buttons. Ask me about my podcast. Nice. Okay. With our logo. Oh, oh, does nice. it really have our logo? And plus one, ask me about my comic. Ow, that is sharp. Oh, now you have AIDS. <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Uh, well, that's nice. Thank you for the buttons. Don't fucking and throw the pointy button. At me. I closed it. Hard. <laughs> Why no. is it stuck to my shirt then? I'm gonna open this one because you've been so rude. Uh, I will put <laughs> one of these open. buttons in it. your card onto monster. the shelf of shame that we have at the entrance of the studio. I'll totally mail one to Steve. I love 
Oh, <laughs> Steve, I have your address. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for that. Vaguely he'll, he'll drop it out of the plane on offer. the way to Mexico. Yeah, I'll airdrop it to you. Because uh, it's a Boeing, so the door will be open. I'll just the whole time. stand outside and wave. <laughs> it, I'm here. Just shoot up a flare so Kill I know me, which, which house it is. That's right. Uh, y'all remember what happened last week? <laughs> Steve just in his backyard yelling at planes. <laughs> on that I'm here. Phil! Phil! Is that you? <laughs> Signal me if it's you. Hey, uh, boy. Oh, what happened last time on Botch Podcast? <laughs> wow. I don't. Um, well, we did oh. Patreon. Did we do an episode last week? No. I think we did. Last did we? week we did Patreon. Patreon we did Patreon last, last week. week. Oh. So it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, was it what, where we, did I get killed by Rambo? Rambo. Oh, yes. Rambo. Yeah. yeah. Was I see, I remember. Week? There were nanobots and stuff. I don't think that was last week. Either. That's no, no, the last no. one I remember. No, because then we experimented on that thing, didn't we? Did we? Yeah. That yeah, be because we met uh, uh, Tucker at Chili's. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys. We actually brought him, him to Chili's. And we did go to, with to him. Chili's. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we like Tucker. Uh-huh. Yeah, and Frederico was there and didn't spit in his drinks. Didn't you call and say spit in his drinks? No. No. no, no. I said don't spit in his drinks. Not that Tucker knows. Yeah, Tucker doesn't know. What did we get though? We got the Tucker uh, doesn't know. I don't. Tucker know. doesn't know. Uh, the thing that turns everybody into a machine on touch. The clockwork virus. It's a nice Scotty doesn't uh-huh. know reference, by the way, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But who sang uh, that song in the movie? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Good job. Yeah, everybody knows. Idiot. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Everybody knows that. 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 I, even I knew that, and I don't even know what movie it is. Euro Trip. Yeah. Oh, I've seen mm-hmm. that. <laughs> uh, I, I remember the scene from that movie. Is it was Michelle it was... Trachtenberg? Because that's the scenes I remember. That. Was no. it the scene on the train where the Italian guy kept saying, <laughs> Miss Cousy. Uh, Miss Cousy. Miss no. Cousy. It was the one with the little kid. <laughs> Margarita and I have been watching Buffy, uh, the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> And every time Don whines, I'm like, this is ruining Euro Trip for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Junior. So we don't Walker. have a recap. Uh, so we haven't done a preview. We, did. we just said what happened. No, you just rambled for a few minutes. That was a no good that, it was like that was a good break from the normally previously I watched. It was oh what happened last Yeah, a good time break from the thing we do every single episode yeah, for, it's okay for eight, to break eight it up. years. Yeah, let's break it up. <laughs> let's do something different. We've done that, and it, it, the, it always comes back with, we don't like you doing things different. Yeah. Dennis must DM. <laughs> I, mean, I hence, like it the same. That was, that was six years ago. Yeah. Maybe I'll get it. Be- I'll get it. Go, go for it. Go, go, go. Previously, Previously on Botched. Oh, oh, Tucker. You, Tucker? Tucker, you got to try the chicken crispers. Get in on this, man. Come here. Thanks for bringing me, you guys. I thought you were just going to stand me up. Tucker, I was shut up okay. and eat the chicken crisper. Eat the crisper. Thank you. Shove are up. you going to eat your corn that's on a stick, or are you just going to give it to me? I'll just give it to All you. All right, thank you. Let's loop that up with butter and just get You've been eyeballing it for, like, the entire time we've been sitting here. So I think you want it more than I do. I'm on a diet. I'll just have six Michelobes and a shot of Jack Daniels. Welcome back, junior researchers, to the 37th episode. Can I be honest with you real quick? <laughs> sure. Every time I pass a fucking Chili's now, I fucking- Are you interested? I'm interested in going in. Can we go? And I've even to, caught myself saying to myself, I wonder if Frederico is working today. If, Bro, we, if we all went, still had our SCP guy. outfits, I would say we should all just go to a At Chili's Dragon and Con, take a picture. Yeah. We should go to- uh, There's got to be a Chili's and- <laughs> In There's Georgia. definitely a Chili's oh, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Chili's. We can Sadly, it's absolutely for us to get white lab coats. Yeah. I, I just have to get them. Yeah. yeah, I just gotta get the new lab coats and new patches, and then have that lady sell them on again. I'll give them away again. Oh, yeah, I know you will. <laughs> I should put a fishing line on them. You gave mine away. Anything, anything after the live show, you gotta nail it down if you don't want to give it away. <laughs> That's why I kept you know mine on. Gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a giving person. Yeah, especially when I'm drunk. Take my stuff. Yeah, take take this stuff. Like that's me, not mine take either. my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> take the stuff that doesn't even doesn't belong to me. As a all right, let's get back into it. 
Welcome back, junior researchers, to the 37th episode of our eighth season. We are going to start a little while after we left off last time, as Site-69 has encountered a distress signal from another site location. This distress signal was not very long, uh, as it was cut off. So you're going to guess that this was it's some sort of... It's a normal size. See, exactly. It's a normal size it was, distress signal. It fits uh, right in your hand with a little bit extra room. That's right. Normal. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if it's a the small big ones hand... hurt them it's, anyway. Yeah, it looks really big in small hands or whatever, so... Um, like Trump's. The little tiny hands, you hey, know? We don't do politics here. It's not. He just has small hands, so it looks huge in it. Because um, I don't want to think about what the other types of small hands are to make that joke work. So, the distress signal. <laughs> the distress signal. Uh, it seems like this is coming in through some sort of secret line that... Whoever is attacking this site did not know about, but quickly found out about. Hmm. And all that they get through, they say which site they are, where they're located, and the only other line that they say is... Beef stroganoff. They came... Or so, uh, I'm sorry. I came. <laughs> I came. I saw. I kicked its ass. Um, it fucked my ass. It fucked my ass. <laughs> They've infiltrated the foundation. Don't trust anyone. And then they are starting to say something else, and the message just cuts. So They've, in they've infiltrated the foundation. Don't trust anyone. Sure. So, it's good. Site 69 is sending their quote unquote best, best MTF to go and assist however they can. You, know you can trust us. This site is in the Midwest. It's in a very heavily forested area, not near any population centers. Cleveland. Cleveland. Um, technically, that's a population center, mm. even though there's like 10 people. Not really the Midwest either. We already Ohio been to Cleveland. Ohio is the Midwest. What? It's a gateway yeah. to the Ohio Midwest. is definitely in the Midwest. Yeah, it's yeah. the Rust Belt. Mm. It's in there somewhere. Okay. But anyways. I'd say so, Indiana begins. Well, no, Midwest. it's technically it's Ohio. What is your preferred uh, travel? Because you could fly in a helicopter. This site does have a helipad. Camel. But well, if they are under attack, you're kind of you know. I, I think that's not up for air. us to decide. It's up for our captain, captain. in charge. Sure. I well, clearly, anywhere. we're gonna have a C-130 airdrop our ATV, ATV, awesome. APC. About ATVs. Uh, a, a, a PC about, about 50 miles out, and, and we'll drive in, you know, the one with the big scissors on the front and chop trees up. We like <laughs> it. Okay. Love that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, who are, I I know Spin Tidwell, because yeah. this is, use tampons. It's Captain Spin Tidwell. That's right. Obviously. Who are the other two again? I am Raul Cruente. Raul. And? Uh, Corporal Peter Leifton. Oh, and don't forget our main man. Nibbles. Nibbles. Don't forget Nibbles. Nibbles is also here. Nibbles is here. Nibbles is always I, here. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, Captain. <laughs> so Nibbles, I don't like how long in the tooth you think you're getting. I said, I'm not making fun of you. I've watched him I'm, do oh this impression God. in the mirror for hours. I think I nailed it. <laughs> I think he's kind of nailed it. So... You guys. Just like he nailed that other guy with the knife in the back. You all y'all remember that? Fuck you. <laughs> so you guys are riding through the woods on your uh it's not an eight now I'm oh, now like it's I can think it's fucking ATV, but it's not. What is it again? APC. APC. You're driving quickly, I assume, on your APC. Well, you can Nibbles see is driving, right? I'm assuming so. I'm always driving. Driving Towards this uh, foundation, it's Area 14, by the way. This is what it's, or sorry, Area 12 is what it's known as. And uh, from the basic information you have, uh, they are a site that deals specifically with studying biological entities, assets, things like that. And you do know that based on uh, the types of alerts that came through, that they did have a site breach, but also apparently somebody has invaded this particular uh, foundation facility, yes? Now, voice and head, uh, does the SCP talk in between, amongst each other about, like, what SCPs no. they have on each other's site? No. No. They're all pretty secret. The only commonality between sites are the O5 Council. Hey, and Peter. The thing, oh, I'm sorry. 
Y- your mom's got biological assets. Well, that's the thing. This thing's got bio asses. <laughs> that's all we know is there's a bunch of bio asses. Bio asses. Yeah. Bio acid. Now, yeah. Washington Head, you show we're in, we're in Ohio? I said you're in the Midwest. Ohio. Okay. Again, with Ohio. We just keep coming back here for some reason. It's like I didn't say Ohio. You know, it's like a place won't let you go. Why well, could Ohio itself be an SCP? It's definitely biological. actually there is uh, Ohio is an SCP. That's it's what a biological I'm saying. absolutely a zone of it interest. Actually is does it have a bio ass? <laughs> we can't just Ant Man our way through Ohio. Ohio is the one big shrink sphincter. down, go up its ass, and expand. <laughs> Nibbles, stop making fun of me. I swear to God. I'm not making fun of you, sir. <laughs> you ain't never talked like that ever before. Why are you talking like that? He's also got oh. cross eyes. You can't see his eyes. They're all crossed. And I swear to God, I will slap your eyes straight. You're in Nebraska, by the way. Oh, the Ohio of the Midwest? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> gotcha. That's West Ohio. It's West Ohio. That's, That's Corn right. Ohio. Other... Nibbles That's right. is a corn husker. Corn so, Ohio. You guys are riding up on this facility, and you notice that there are multiple other APCs, not with SCP uh, any insignia on them or anything like that. Also, a slightly different color. Like yours is a is a straight black uh, APC. Theirs are sort of like an olive green color, I would say. And you also notice there is a helicopter on the roof as well, and there are many dead bodies littered about outside. Now, are these dead bodies just of SCP employees, or is there uh, the intruders? Looks like MTF. Okay. Okay, but it, we're not supposed to trust no one, so. True. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Captain. Yeah. Should I bust out the anti-tank? Uh, what are they called? Laws? What are they? The laws? But, yeah. Well, the light anti-tank weapons. Mm-hmm. Sarge, uh, do you see any tanks? Well, if it works on a tank, it'll work on an APC, sir. Okay. I mean, yeah. Should, yeah, should I, mean, I engage? strap a couple to your back and let's let's mule it? What? Why don't we try hailing them first? Oh, I guess we could do that. Nibbles on sc- on screen. Nibbles. Uh, this is APC uh, from say sixty nine. Who's out there? Over. You're not getting any response back. Well, they're driving. No, they were parked. But now that you've oh. hailed them. Uh, you notice that there is a turret on the top of both of these APCs that are turning towards uh, your APC. I'm on my way, sir. Uh, Raul climbs up to the APC turret area with okay. his light anti-tank weapon Okay. to fire at these APCs. Fire away, Jack. I give you a plus you know, build more. three because, you know. It's technologically awesome. Sure. Now, and because they- Raul's just that good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got an 18 on the die. And my deck score plus proficiency plus my three is pr- well over 25. Okay. So you fire off. Uh, I'm going to say it's it's kind of like an armor-piercing RPG of sorts. Yeah. A little, a little heavier duty than that. but So it flies directly at the APC, hits it right in the middle, and like ker, ker flumfles it a little bit, and then it explodes uh, into a big, giant, glorious fireball. Uh, the other APC is going to fire You see that you. cap? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> that, was, okay. that was fucking sweet. That so, was fucking sweet, Nibbles. Uh, so, if only you had had anything to do with that and it wasn't completely Raul. Nibbles, uh, you noticed that sure. they are about to fire theirs at you. Evasive maneuvers. Yeah, roll me evasive maneuvers. Are these heat seeking? And, and you better pray. Well, you're safe because you're stone cold, buddy. I Let's he, go. He's stone cold. I watched him get? slam two beers I, together and chug them right okay. before we started driving. I got a nat 20. Wow. Yeah, third the one. The literal only way you would have survived because I also got a nat 20. Let's so now go. it's a roll, roll off. off. Straight roll <laughs> off? Nibbles yeah. is proficient Come on, Nibbles. in rolling. Wow. The rolling rock. dirty. I got a nine. <laughs> I got an 18. I got a one. Let's hey. go. So you win. So, yeah. So the... the uh, the anti person, the anti armor, whatever brush. it is, you literally hear it skidding off the side of your APC. It gets that close and just skims right off the side and Duke. hits a nearby tree and explodes, causing your APC to rattle about quite heavily. That was a smooth shave. Yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, Raul, gets another shot. Uh, come on, die. Don't fuck me now. <laughs> 
18 net 2018. That luck's going to run out at uh, some that's point. An eight on the die, plus two, plus three, 13, plus proficiency. We're level five. Mm hmm. Or we're level uh, six. No, you're like seven or eight now. Oh, then I got, I probably got a 16. So it looks like it hits towards the back end and doesn't blow up anything major. Okay. So it looks like the APC is still functional. So they are going to get another shot. Fuck. Now, as everyone else is inside this uh, vehicle, what can we do is this tank battle is get going out. on? You can pray. Get out. No, I'm not going <laughs> to do that. Get out. <laughs> you that's get about, the fuck out. That's about all you're yeah. going to be able to do for me here. Do I believe it. we're being encouraged to exit the vehicle um, by forces higher than ourselves there, Peter. Well, I get that, but with all these close uh, shave my ball situations, I don't really want to... Uh, Exploding. Take that opportunity to expose my bio ass to these Nibbles. guys. Yes. Roll me another evasive maneuvers because this is going to hit you right oh, square shit. on again. Not quite as square on as the last one, but I got a, a nat one. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> this is a rough day. Maybe, you, you know, as a reaction, I would like to get out of this vehicle. You're in the back. Would you even know what's happening? No, I wouldn't. I'm doing drugs. Okay. Nibble uh, steers into the <laughs> Raul. Hey yo! I will let you since you can see what's going uh -huh. on. Take a roll, to roll, dive, to roll, to to roll. roll out. Raul's gonna roll out. Raul got a twelve. Raul, you can't seem to figure out how to get up out of this thing. The anti personnel thing hits you dead square on the front of the APC, causing the uh, entire personnel carrier that you're in to explode and Ooh. flip forwards. That's right. Uh, He's that I will give you. Now I'm in the I'm in the back crocheting. Is that going to mess up what I'm doing? You're on fire. Shit. And taking massive trauma. So each of you are going to get a one in twelve chance of surviving this. Fuck. You have to guess it correctly. So. Well, that Fuck. that didn't take long, now did it, boys? <laughs> You're a sick son of a bitch, you know that? First up. I remember when we before we went live, I said he told us. You could have got out. That we were going <laughs> to die right away. I I said we'd get out. Apparently, I missed the opportunity to I while I was putting my gonna... headphones. I was putting my headphones in my little helmet. <laughs> you just got to pick the number. You're good. Yeah. No, I, one no I retroactively get out of the fucking vehicle. That's what I do. <laughs> All right. God damn it. <laughs> I'll say you could jump out the back. Is that even yeah, following him the out? Back. Yeah, Raul, Raul, since, get the fuck out! Unask this APC right now. Peter Leafton didn't said he didn't want to jump out. He I, did say that. I did say that. That is what I said. <laughs> so well, Peter's psycho. He's an army. So spin He's an army jumps fella. out. Raul's stuck in the cockpit yeah. and Nibbles is driving. So Raul was up in the turret. Up in the turret is what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but you tried to jump out of it. He did. Turret. I got a 1 in 12 chance, you, you got a 1 in a ch 12 chance of surviving. So, let's start with you, Peter Leafton. What number did I roll out of 12? Two. <laughs> you are dead. Damn it. <laughs> Raul. Is it the same die? No, it's a different, different die. Different die for everybody. Oh. <laughs> Can I go with Nibbles first? Sure. I hope Two. <laughs> you die. Fuck. <laughs> Nibbles is dead. Raul. <laughs> okay, I rolled another two on this D12, but I'm not going to choose two because that's impossible. You can't. I'll give you a hint. It's not fucking two. Okay, one <laughs> eleven chance. Me no hints. <laughs> These guys just keep guessing two. Eight. No. Fuck. Also dead. What so, was it? It was eleven. I rolled that a four. Literally 11, was what I was eleven. Say. So. Uh, <laughs> I did roll a number multiple times, but well, it was eleven. Well, at least, at least there's still one soggy tampon Spin. that's alive. So they're going to have to send in his reinforcements. He's <laughs> fucking himself. bastard. So, yeah. Send him Bravo team. So, Spin, you fly out the back just before this thing uh, gets hit with the armament and explodes, and you see it flip forwards and just and just crash into a burning heap. Do uh, I get, so, like, thrown backwards by the explosion oh, real yeah, cool? Yeah, yeah. You get thrown oh, backwards. Yeah. You sort of, like, tumble up into a heap on the ground. Uh, uh -oh. And you are, yeah, your your whole team is dead. And that person is still in that APC. Not that they see you probably because of all the blowy-uppy stuff, 
Yeah. But yeah, luckily the explosion <laughs> took took the brunt of his uh, you know, uh visual acuity at the time. It's like T Rex, he can't see unless something's exploding. Yeah. And you do see that a helicopter takes off and flies away. Jesus Christ, I take some pictures of it. Okay. It's again an olive green sort of color. There's no insignia on it at all. Can I get a uh, – do I I have some binoculars or a field scope or something, see sure. if I can get a closer look at who's in that helicopter? Uh, you don't have much of a – you get one shot to look. So, yeah, perception check. All right. I'm laying on the ground on my back just stealthily put a, put that binocular <laughs> sure. up to my – you know. All right. Uh, perception, you said? Yes. Well, well, I reckon that's a 23. Nice. You look up just in time. You see it clearing the trees. It's not going full speed yet. And you notice that this is a full squad of individuals heavily armed, uh, full Kevlar and all that stuff. And they have gas masks, each one of them, with red lenses. And you also notice that there is a cage on the back of this helicopter that has a number of SCP... Uh, 939s, which are like those uh, mimicry dogs, basically. So there don't there didn't have to be like a red ring insignia on these sons of bitches uniforms, is there? You don't see it, anyways. I don't not see from, it. Not from. I mean, not you from have down a, here. You have a limited amount of window space that you can see, but you can see like the gas mask, and you can see All the right. top portion of them. So. All right. Well, unless the, the global occult coat. Unless the Global Occult Coalition has lost their goddamn minds, this is motherfucking chaos insurgency taking taking out our people again. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're on the ground. Uh, I guess Bravo team, what do you want them to roll in on? Another APC or something different? Well, they're going to have to decide that themselves. I'm busy shitting my pants in a ditch. Okay, who is my Bravo team? Let me just cross out. Uh, make, hold on, make it up. Roll the character real quick. <laughs> The fresh tampons. We're the past. The fresh tampons. The past max, maximum well, pads. My name is Matt. Yeah, Use tampons is still pads. not dead yet, so. <laughs> uh, all right. Justin used to have a World of Warcraft paladin named Maxi padded him. Voice and hit. While well, I'm very stealthily just kind of leaning my head side to side to look at my surroundings without moving too much. Sure. Uh, do I see anybody I recognize dead on the ground? Uh, no. Shit. You mean like out in front of the site? Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, you don't recognize any of these MTF that are dead. They look so, like they're site security. So I know Air, Air 12, I know, I know Skeeter works here. I owe him about a hundred bucks. I was hoping he was among the dead, but I don't see him. No, I bet he's a fucking traitor. I bet Skeeter's a fucking traitor, and he went away with those goddamn chaos boys. You're not sure. Mm. Can I? What? Can I stop the show real quick? What? No hey, interest. Jim, what the fuck are you doing? That's a hundred dollars. Is, is that what that is? He, is? He to he's lost his goddamn building? mind. I, I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck? I know we don't look at chat, and we're having a level <laughs> nine hype train right now, which is fucking bananas. Uh, all for the tampons. Mm -hmm. But tampons. Jim, what the fuck are you doing? Living life. He said, I'm your Huckleberry. I know we've talked about getting you on, but you didn't answer my last question, so I didn't put you on this week. Oh. Mm. Oh, wow. Ooh, also, thanks to Big Jim for this umbrella oh. that I'm about to take home during this rainstorm. I'll get him on soon. He just has to let me know. Umbrella. Oh. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got a name. So do I. Okay. What are you guys rolling in on? Horses. Also, yay for good days. Yeah, horses. Horses. Yeah. Okay. Metal horses. Metal AKA ho motorcycles. Motorcycles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> rolling in on motorcycles. Iron steeds. All right. So you guys are rolling up on motorcycles. You see That's that right. there is a fire. There are a, a couple of fiery wrecks in the distance, and you see the crumpled body of Spin Tedwell, like behind a tree, just sort of like hold up. What are you? Who are you? Who are you two? What are you doing? What do you? What do you got? What's going on? Uh, I'm Pomodoro Bucatini, and I'm here. What? What is that name? Pomodoro. Pomodoro. P O M O D O R O. Pomodoro. Bucatini. I'm not doing the other half. Come of on. <laughs> Pomodoros, as far as I go. Pommy. And my name's Carlos Creamton. 
And I got a big old hog between my legs. <laughs> yeah, you do. Why? What do you mean? It's my motorcycle. Okay. Stop being ignorant. Okay. So you guys roll up. Carlos. And uh, spins there. And you notice that there is uh, an enemy APC with some heavy armament not oh, too fuck. far in the distance. So if you're not careful, they I, will shoot I you. I signal them, get down, get down. Get, get, off get down off my hog. Get, get, stop cranking your hog and get on the ground. What the fuck is this shit? Hasn't seen yet. All right. Now, what kind I of power lands, down my hog. What kind of lance? What are, what are we in? Heavy woods. In Kansas. In Nebraska. Nebraska. The heavy woods in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, the, the famous expansive forest of Nebraska. Okay. That's right. I'm sure there's a forest somewhere in Nebraska. Yeah, you know, the Appalachian, I'll, I'll, Nebraska There forest. might be a copse of trees or two in Nebraska. <laughs> Invasive species. Sure. Uh, well, Pomodoro is going to jump off of his uh, motorcycle okay. and put on his ghillie suit that's appropriate for this tree in Nebraska. Okay. It's a corn ghillie suit. Also, Can't you're going to guess that this corn. area is slightly anomalous, which is why it's it's almost jungle-esque mm-hmm. in how mm-hmm. overgrown right, right. it is. So you're going to guess Captain. that this is a bit anomalous, but... Captain, what's the deal? Uh, all right. Look, first of all, they, these sons of bitches done kill Raul. They done killed Peter. And they fucking killed Nibbles, which I'm not too mad about considering how he's been acting lately. But he was one of my fellows, and I'm pretty goddamn pissed about it. Now, what we need to do is low crawl from cover to cover, making sure to stay out of the line side of that APC and drop a goddamn grenade down in there and blow them sons of bitches up. It's a great plan. I think I can do it. Of course you can. I'm going to snil- slither over you're, there. You're slither. a new tampon. Yeah, I'm going to slither you're over there snake, like a little Like a snakey over? Okay, roll me stealth. I will, because I'm proficient in it. Good. I'm sorry, fellas. I have ADHD. What's your name again? My name is Carlos Creamtum. Carlos Creamtum. 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 Got it. <laughs> Pomodoro <laughs> Bucatini. Pomodoro. Pomodoro Bucatini. Got it. Pomeranian. You said uh, stealth my way? Yeah. How's uh, 22 for you? Okay. Uh, let me just double check. Nah, you're fine. So he's looking around on the top. Or you guess I can see. He's looking around on the top of this APC looking for something to shoot, but he's not seeing anything. He's not seeing you link up, crawling, rolling, whatever it is you're doing. I'm on my back, inching my way he's, forward. He's doing the worm through, yeah. through the fields. Gotcha. Of- but jungle. Not, not on my tummy. I got to do it on my back. Through the jungle yeah. corn. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Carlos's Carlos's uh, uh, genitalia is far too cumbersome for him to be crawling on his belly. I can't. It's going to get caught gonna, on all manner of things. It's going to drag me down. So many prickles. That's bushes. true. Yeah. Too many thorns. Too many thorns. I already got enough scabbies on it. I don't need no more. Uh huh. So you slink on over. Now what? Drop a grenade. In. Oh, you know, I'm going to do a. Uh, a flip from my back up on top of it, pop the hood. Where he is. And drop He's a on the top. What do you mean he's on the top? He's on the top and like a turret. Like oh, he's on a turret? Literally like Raul was. Oh, well, I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna uh, just throw a, a hook shot, little little grenade in there. All right. Dex, L- a layup. Dex attack. A layup, if you will. Dex attack. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> I, What'd you get? I ten. start to scoot away from him ten. a little bit. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're obviously all approaching from different angles. Sure. So uh, the grenade goes up and just bounces off the top and goes onto the other side of the APC. You miss the 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 gunner seat. Right, so to speak. Uh, the other one I, I mean, so so this was, says we're all doing this uh, in tandem, of course. So. Okay. Well, uh, you didn't say you snuck up. I what'd did. You, I think we're all stealth rolling everything. You, oh, we're all sneaking what, up. What'd you get? If I mean, if we're there to be in danger of the grenade, we're all sneaking up together. I got a 26 stealth. You're fine. Sweet. And then what did Spin get for stealth? I got, a, I got an 11. It's not great. You're about to get blown uh, up. It's mostly how your guys get there because you see that uh, the turret starts to turn towards Spin as he's uh, moving up. And then no. Pomodoro fucking <laughs> made that bitch. The Pomodoro. grenade goes up, tinks off the top, and then rolls over to the no. other side of the APC. Oh, is he hit? Does that take his eye? Off of our commander in chief, Spin Tinwell. Well, when it explodes on the ground next to him, 
Yeah, that'll probably distract him a so bit. So then I'm going to toss my second one as an attack. Sure. Uh, that's a little bit better. What'd you get? An 18. Okay. So you toss the grenade up, and this one, while it's rocking around and whatnot, uh, which would probably also be a little disconcerting to you, too. Not me. My mama used to rock me to sleep away. every night. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the same thing. While watching While watching Mash. Sure. X-Files. <laughs> Lands in the turret. You hear a muffled scream. <laughs> And then it just explodes outwards, which also yeah. is it's very close to you. So, like, it's not going to be fun for you on the ground. Well, I got earplugs in. Well, sure, earplugs. That, that's something for the computer. Uh, Them puddles. drummies are going to be safe and, and safe as a snug as a bug in a rug. You take four damage as you are thrown backwards because you're right cool. next to the APC when you're tossing these grenades up in there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just telling you. I've been is he thrown all the way to me? There. Yeah, he's back where you are. Oh, hi, Carlos. <laughs> he just uh, rolls over, and he's got a little steam I, I coming got, off of him. I got my arm up on my on my neck like this. Oh, hi there, Captain. Uh, which Carlos Pomodoro? Which one of y'all is the sergeant? Who is my Who is my non commissioned? Look, look at me. I'm the sergeant. I, oh, I'm, I don't know. Carlos looks like he's got excellent leadership capabilities. Well, you know what? I've seen a private or two in my life. Oh God, I believe you. <laughs> All right. So it seems as though all the hostiles have been cleared from the outside of the building. Is there a fence? Uh, yes, there is a fence, and there's also, but it's like a gate, but it's completely open. Hmm. And there are the the facility itself looks like it's made out entirely out of steel and concrete, and there are two large heavy duty gates also open. Why don't they ever build facilities that are entirely out of cream cheese or something like that? I heard they you do know? that in Philadelphia. Oh, do they? Yeah. Doesn't There's sound a sturdy. castle made of cream cheese in Philadelphia. Doesn't sound sturdy. It's not about it whether about it's sturdy what? or not, voice and head. It's whether or not it can stand as a testament to the indomitable human spirit and uh, and in unstoppable food. appetite for bagels. Oh, I, I would just would. eat all of it. I, I was going to say, yeah, it would all, all the anomalies would just eat it. Uh, the anomalies, everybody would be eating. Yeah, sure, everybody. Yeah. Which then defeats the purpose of it being a building. Well, yeah, it's a, give a couple of rich people. crackers in that fucker. Would, would you eat cream cheese with a cheesesteak? So then would you say you would be putting on the Ritz? Cream cheesesteak. Oh. I wonder what I'll make one of those at work tomorrow. Fuck you. I would be putting on the Ritz. I'd be tap dancing right into that cream never cheese. Never had cream cheese on this cheesesteak. It's interesting. I've never had it either. I'm curious. I mean, I've done the old whizzy. You but, know, a little bit of pee pee on yeah, it. Yeah, that fucking cheese whiz is the best on the cheese uh, Yes, it but. is. Uh, so, Pomodoro or Pomo or Pomo? what do you think? Modo, Doro, Pomo, Pomodo, Oro. You made Bucky. the name. You come up with your nickname. Bucky. <laughs> Buck <and> Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> uh, from Pucatini. I love it. All right. So, um, he's going to sneak up to the open gate. Sure. And out of his very well oiled and shiny boots, he's going to pull a uh, a nice hand mirror. Okay. And he's going to check his uh, his hair. Looks great. Looks really great. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he's going to take the mirror and curve it around the corner to try to look inside the compound. You see uh, a bloodbath. Basically, it's researchers. There are um, normal staff. Mm -hmm. There are D class. There are. Um, so the, does Guards the gate ripped apart. go into a, into the facility, or does it go into like a yard? It goes in the facility. Okay. So there's like a hallway. The fence is what's on the outside, gotcha, and then gotcha, the gotcha. gate, gate, like the main doors go into the actual facility. Makes sense. And yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of uh, carnage on the inside of this building. But the coast looks kind of clear? You don't see any moving or anything I don't like know. Was taking the carnage has passed. Well, I mean, the carnage is still there. The mayhem has passed. Carnage sure. is attached to Woody Harrelson. Got it. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I hear? Do I hear anything? You hear beep. No, I got earplugs in. Oh, okay. I do. I do the hand signals to, to bring the uh, team forward. That the coast is clear in the hallway. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll come. I'll come to him. We actually, all, we, we regroup. Uh, I actually, I don't. Oh, he, Carlos, you coming? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go inside the tanker we just blew up. It is one that's full on fire. fire. Don't go in here, fire Carlos. Husk. Carlos, no fire, hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I, on fire. I don't have like. It's a, not cream cheese in there. Yeah, I, no, it's I not don't any have cream like cheese. Any like 
Like an extinguisher? Well, I was going to say like a canteen full of water. <laughs> yeah, that'll put out the whole APC. Okay, so it will? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what about the ones that were blown up before we got here? Are they still smoking? Well, the one that got blown up before you got there blew up like less than five minutes That's before you got there. It. So it's still also on fire. Okay, then I'll come back to these. It's not going to go out immediately. Oh, voice and head. Surely, since they threw a grenade into the the turret, the guy that was standing in it was kind of blown out. I would say he was right? blown apart. No, well, he... yeah, well, but blown out. Sure, bits of him are blown out. Okay, yeah, I won't, won't, yeah, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, Carlos. Let's get, get a look at that jacket. I'm trying to figure out where you know. Let's like who's our enemy? Jigsaw, Information. Put this yeah. puzzle back together piece by piece. Okay, Bucky approves. Uh, so. As I said with uh, the ones that were in the helicopter, it looks like parts, I would say it's a, less than half of his upper half is there. Mm -hmm. uh, and even that's still kind of blown all to hell. Um, but you do see a faint insignia on one of the armbands, and it looks like a circle with a red dot in the center. Motherfucker, I uh, goddamn knew it. Some other black lines. This is a goddamn chaos insurgency, Carlos. I'm, 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 insurgency These traitorous turncoat son of bitches come in and kill their former brothers. Sir, do you think I don't that care for it? They're the people that have infiltrated the SCP. Uh, these are guys who left it. They left it. They thought yeah, they but were too they good. wanted more power. I, on on the briefing on my way here, when I got called in, it said that there was a. A call in that said that the SCP has been infiltrated, not to trust anybody. Do you think it was these guys? I, I goddamn bet it was. Uh, you want me to take point, sir? Oh, why don't you let Carl? It's his turn. Yeah, I'll always go. I'll always do something once. Okay. He has a considerable up. meat shield. Okay. So you're going in then. Hog in hand. Hog in hand. All right. So <laughs> as you guys enter the facility, that's where we're going to take a break. And we're back. All right. So this entry area, uh, more administrative than anything else, but all the doors are open. Like I said, there are bodies strewn all over the place, multiple bullet wounds in most of these bodies. There are some deep gashes and cuts and slices, and some people are severed in various places as well. Gross. But yeah, this looks familiar said. to that report from that uh, site with a giant robot. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. shit. What are you talking about, sir? Uh, you didn't read that report? Yeah, no. it was like King and Abel or something like that. Well, yeah, the investigators went out there. They found a giant robot in the SCP, uh, in that SCP site out there. And uh, everybody inside had been sliced to death by some fucking edgy teenager uh, with a samurai sword watched Crow too many times. So if you want, what so like you? each of you has like a uh, like a little communication device that has limited information on it, and you can pull up, uh, you know, information that you might find useful, and that would be like since it is a widely known thing that this SCP is out and on the loose, uh, you could probably pull up information if you're so curious about yeah, what the Kane. capabilities. It's Kane, right? Abel, Kane. not Kane. It's the other one. Kane was able. I knew it was one of them. Yeah. Kane's a vampire. No. <laughs> uh, he was cursed with bloodlust. I read the Bible. Uh, well, not in SCP lore. He's not. I read it every day. <laughs> you can read it every day all you want, but it's not in the SCP. So, uh, so Abel is designated as SCP-076. Uh, description: black hair, gray eyes, olive skin, arcane-looking tattoos. Oh, looks like me. And he's usually wearing a tunic of some sort. Why is the Chest bear kind of thing, and he's showing off the goods. All that yeah, jazz. no, you got. And you his got head is bashed in with a rock by his brother. That's true. At one point, yes. Um, but he he took a plunger and got that straightened yep. out. So, like you would a dent in the car. Uh, Abel exhibits superhuman strength oh, so fuck. much that he can rip through steel. That seems bad. Uh, superhuman speed, he can travel sixty-four meters in three seconds. So, what's that in freedom units? Uh, 63 meters? 120 feet yeah. in three seconds? Uh, no, incorrect. It'd be closer to closer to probably 200 feet. Okay. <laughs> One meter is is three was... yards and three inches. Oh, three roughly. yards, not three feet. Three, not three yards, three feet and three inches. 
So 189 uh, feet and nine inches. That's roughly 200 feet. 207.9 feet. Okay. So, yeah, he could travel 200 feet in three seconds. That's pretty fast. (laughs) So he's pretty fast. So his move speed is like... A lot. 400? It's a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Also, he can just pull bladed weapons out of some void, Mm. so he's never unarmed. But he also votes for the Green Party. He does. He also could take quite a lot of damage before dying, even multiple gunshots to the head before he actually goes down and dies. Uh, He gives his entire paycheck to orphans. Yeah, it's crazy. Is he here? I mean... I mean, he was. As Spin listed, uh, these wounds are... Um, made for walking? Made for walking, but also similar to the ones that were shown at that other site with the mm. Colossus. What a come, Lord. Yes. I'm going to say, like a uh, Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Voice and head, I know they lost communication, but if if on the external, externality of the site, I can realign the satellite dish that beams all their transmissions out. It says right. uh, dish network on it. Yeah. If I can realign that. I reestablish communications, have them do a quick scan before we poke our heads in there and get our our heads cut off by an Udikatana. Well, you're going to guess that if the Chaos Insurgency came and was shutting down communications, they probably took out the most obvious one first. The secret communication, they got to eventually. So you're going to guess it's not just a super obvious satellite dish sticking outside. So it's probably, if you were to climb up on top of the building, an educated guess would be that it's blown up. Is there some sort of override panel on the outside that I can patch into and maybe hook to a, a mobile transmission platform that we carry? Kind of like uh, it. I will let you, you mean this one on my try backpack? And roll that's that's oh, right. You guys also have your own like uh, God communication damn it. If devices. If only Peter was here. I just wanted him. No, I just wanted him to scan the the site before we go in. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit scared, boys and head. I'm, I'm not you know too what? proud to admit it. What? I'm here to like. Show Why would you be scared of somebody here? who can run 200 meter or 200 I, feet I in got three you, seconds? I, got you, uh, <laughs> I wish Peter was here. He's much better at this. He's here. He's like 30 stuff. feet back. He's a little smoldering corpse. Do you want me to get him for a, you so you can I rolled yell a 15. at him? Well, Bucky's a communications sergeant, so. Oh, we'll go, we'll go ahead and roll your your engineer in there, Bucky. It voice and head. I'm gonna maybe start stealthing around. Maybe get in there sure. a little bit close. He's gonna close. he's gonna skulk a little bit. He's gonna get into them shadows. You know uh, what I mean? Sure. Sorry. <laughs> Captain, what'd you get? Oh, I got a 15. Oh, I got a 16. The inside, nice. <laughs> by the way, is just re- it's very dark and it's just a red flashing light. That's the only thing that's illuminating anything in here, this red flashing light. So that's what's bathing everything at the moment. Um so no, you you're you're not able to engineer a way to communicate back to base. Well, that's because but... we're looking for Kane. Well, sir, I go in. Okay, you ever you ever played Doom? I played Doom on a Raspberry Pi. Well, let's get mad. Let's go. Burn out, burn out. Cyber demons in here. Okay. So you head in. You notice notice that this area that you immediately go into, like I said, uh, looks like there's a security room. It's mostly administrative. Um, there does appear to be an elevator, though it is completely out of order because it looks like it's been blown to hell. Um, it does appear that there is a set of stairs that goes up to the roof where the helipad was, and it also looks like there's a set of stairs that goes down lower into the facility where most of um, everything would be located. Well, Captain? Oh. I wish we could have patched into that shit and fact figured out what was going on. We're gonna make we're gonna make real excellent use of our uh of our, you know, cameras that look around corners. Okay. So in up, this facility. So up or down? Do you wanna go up on the roof or do you wanna go into the basement? We can check well, out the You know what? Let's quick. go let's go up to the roof first and see if we can establish reestablish some sort of communication. Okay. All right. So you see go up the on. stairs. And the door is uh, just cracked a little bit to the roof. Oh, it's not it. open all the way. I, I'm going to let let me. I, I, I got it. Get him, Sledge. I'm going to go through stealthily. Sure. What did you get for stealth? An 11. Okay. So you open the door and pop your head out. Roll me a perception check. I will. <clears throat> There's an axe coming for you. <laughs> it's a 12. 
Okay. Uh, you notice that there are a slew of dead bodies up here, but you also notice in the distance that there is a shirtless man who is currently ripping the spine out of someone's body. Nope. I'm going to nope. slowly close it. And nope. his oh. head nope. is turning in your direction nope. because he heard the door creak nope. because your stealth was Does he right have here. a, hold on, does he have a samurai sword in his hand? He doesn't. He has what looks to be like some sort of black obsidian blade that's got a lot of curves in it. It doesn't look like it's made of any earthly material. Mm. I'm Captain, we should hide. As a free action, uh -huh. I'm going to turn around to, to, my, to my team and say, Run. No, we can't run. We have to hide. <laughs> so, uh, so, do we get an action to do something? You two do. Okay. <laughs> he uh, does. Uh, I think. Morrison, when I when we were reviewing those files, what did we learn about what Kane like likes? Abel, you know, like his likes. Abel. And what what does Abel like? What is what does he enjoy? Murder. Hmm. Okay, but like if Murder. like if you were gonna get him a birthday present. Murder. Murder? Yeah. He yeah. literally just likes to murder um, everything. I have a question. Yes. Are there some dead bodies up in these stairs? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, Bucky's going to- Walking dead? Yep, he's just going <laughs> to flop down with the bodies and pull one over him and do a hide because that's uh, all there's time for. Okay. <laughs> Homo, let's cut each other real quick. Okay, uh, but then, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Not too deep. But just enough to be convincing. I, I, yep, I, that's right. I, yep. I give him one right back. Okay. What'd you roll for your deception? Or third one this tonight. A twenty. Yeah. Okay. You you're doing an immaculate dead body dead. impersonation. How about old oh, spin? Oh no, spin. <laughs> I'm botched. No. Oh. Oh. When what comes up must come down. You're okay. So it's two botches. Uh. Damn. <laughs> no, no, let, let me try to let me try to He's talk to him. Still giving sure. orders to Carlos. Carlos. You hear very quickly the pitter patter of uh feet as this this guy he is a he is a hundred yards away. And he in a single bound jumps like across a lot of shit and lands close by and and he's got you up in one of his hands by the throat. And uh, he's got this long, serrated blade that's made of this black, glowing energy. And he's just got this crazed look in his eye. What are you doing? Can I talk, or does his you hand... You can talk. <laughs> the crow is a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. You anger him. Now, just, just so I get a good picture of him, he Naruto runs over to Carlos? Uh, to save animation time, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Those arms, they cost a lot of animation mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Also, anyway, if you're ahead, running Carlos. with a knight sword, it could hit yourself. So Makes he's running sense. like this. This guy's like an anime character. He's very uh he's very oily. He's very beefy. What did you say? You said you said something. Oh yeah, no, I was waiting for you to finish. Well, you'll be finished soon. What? I also have a sibling I hate that <laughs> drives me to madness. Okay. Patricia. That's it. We are one of the same. I'm not here to stop you. I'm just here to observe your techniques. What sort of role would you like to make? Deception? Charisma? <laughs> Charisma. That's a charisma role. Uh, he's he's humanizing himself. <laughs> yeah, My I'm not, name is... <laughs> I'm not lying. I, I, I'm not lying to him. My name is Carlos. Carlos is my name. I'm a human. <laughs> Carlos. My name is Mr. Cream Tum. Just kidding. My stepfather. Let's see if there's really cream in that tub. Mr. Yeah, let's cream see how much cream's in that tub. Mr. Cream Tum's my I'll father. just do a charisma check. You can call me Tummy. <laughs> we can play Tummy Sticks. Okay. It's not great. It's a 17. Okay. It's pretty great. It's pretty good. Not against the demi god, it's not. <laughs> I was so hoping for at least a crit 20. Okay. So he, his, the crazed look in his eye dissipates a little. And he, he just slowly nods at you and he says, I'll be sure to kill your brother for you. And you just feel a pinch in your nuts as that black serrated blade has gone into your nethers and is slowly working its way northward. Not my hog. 
it. Oh, yeah, your hog's cut right in half. A split oh, hot dog. Oh, you butterflied my dickhead. And he is not breaking eye contact with you, but he's got this, like, real creepy smile Can on I his face. Can I do something before I die? Sure. I, I kiss his forehead. <laughs> okay. And I say, her name is Karen. Okay. <laughs> kill I'll kill every Karen I find. Thank, you know what? The retail world will thank you. Just... Finishes it up. Damn just it. Goes right off the top of your head, and you just fall in half. Goodbye, your guts Carlos. spew all over the roof. I barely got to play thee. And he's just like, ah. So the two of you can hear at the top of the stairs. And you spin, hear the door open. Spin reacts in some way. <laughs> you hear the door open. So he goes, oh. ah! <laughs> And he glances down, and you see that he moves with an unnatural speed. Mm -hmm. And he kicks Spin Tedwill right in the face so hard that his head explodes like a watermelon at a Gallagher show and You're just so explodes bitch. all over the walls. And uh, I really need to write it on the other page. Too. You know, you kill my second favorite character, Dennis. Pomodoro, yeah. you're sitting there observing all of this. And you notice that uh, Abel is sort of like um, basking in the glow of the blood spewing everywhere. And it's like all over himself. And he's just all about it. And he's almost dancing a little bit. He's so giddy with it. And um, he takes the rest of Spin's body and he just picks it up by the legs and just starts fucking flailing it. Right into a wall, like over and over meow, and over meow, until it just meow. falls apart. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> and then he just sort of tosses it. And he's just, he's like, ah. and he just sort of wanders on down the hall. Mm -hmm. I wait a really long time. <laughs> really okay. Really long time. Who's my next team of uh, backups coming into the facility? <laughs> well, I got to roll a character. Yeah, I think we're going to need it. Yeah, so uh, Pomodoro. Sure. Pomodoro, is, what are you doing in the meantime? He's going to wait a long time until he thinks it's kind of safe. So roll me a perception check. 12. Okay. It sounds like roughly uh, you hear him wandering around down there for a little bit, and then you see him go out the front door, mm -hmm. but you don't see where he goes after that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's true. You know what? Pomodoro, roll me a sanity check. Because Fuck that off. happened right in front of you. Fuck you. I forgot about that stat. Uh, I got a, an eight. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, with your eight, you shit your pants. Is that right? Yeah. So, you, you, managed, the you, managed that hold it. you managed to hold You managed to hold it together for a little while, long enough for him to like get out of earshot. And then you just release your bowels, like all of it. And you're just sitting in your stink. Um, just yeah, it's soaked in there. It's it's, it's bad. It's part of the it's part of the corpse illusion. Yep. It works. Yeah. So you are just covered in well, your shit. I'm stink. I'm going to uh, take my pants off. Okay. <laughs> Pantsless. Um, Much easier to butterfly that wiener. There's no cloth to get in the way. I'm dying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Pooh Baron. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anybody that's about my size. Uh, and steal some dead people's pants. Yeah, I mean, if you meander around enough, you'll find a pair yeah. of pants you that you can fit into. Yeah, and and maybe I'll just use the shirts around to wipe myself. Sure. There's a bathroom on this level. Too. No, that's okay. Okay. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to try to sneak out into the roof again to take, because as a communications sergeant, I want to try to establish communication if I can. Okay. And did he see Abel leave? Yeah. Okay. Was Abel holding anything as he left the facility? Not that he saw. I mean, I'm trying to get to the roof. Just and wandered on that. out. Yeah. Happily so I go, looking for somebody to kill. I go into, I go out, up to the roof. Okay. Um, I'm going to. See, I'm going to try to look at the communications uh, dish. How fucked is it? Uh, it looks like it's been shot to hell. Okay. Like heavy machine gun fire shot to hell. Okay. That's rough. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go to the edge of the roof and try to see if I can see Abel hanging out in the the forest. Uh, 
Um, roll me a perception check. I got a 13. Okay. You see Abel wandering off through the forest, back the way that you guys originally came from. So he's just going that way. Binoculars? Yep. Uh, is he holding anything? Uh, doesn't look like it right now. Okay. Okay. Um, Not that that matters. He literally pulls things out of nothing. So Yeah, okay. But he didn't take anything with him. No. He's just wandering off. Okay, I'm going to duck down below the edge of the building so that uh, I don't alert him to my presence. Good. Um, and I'm going to try to get a radio signal. Okay. Right, so I pulled the little uh, antenna out of my backpack and put it on the ground next to me. Okay. And do a little call. Uh, so you are getting a short-term radio transmission from your backups that mm-hmm. are en route that will probably be coming the same direction that you, you came nope. from originally. No, 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 no. <laughs> Death, so, yeah, you death can, is on the road. You can, you can inform them not to do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to warn them about the death on the road, and maybe they should drop in yeah. on the other side of them. Yeah, they go the wide, they go the far way around. Yeah, they're going to come around on the other side. Avoid the death at all at all costs. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, if they had enough we- high, high weaponry, like if they had an APC gun, they could Mm-mm. kill Abel Mm-mm. if they hit him. <laughs> he moves at 200 fucking feet per second, so no, we're good. You could kill him. It's possible. It's happened before. Put a few per round, excuse me. If it's happened before, what, he just gets reborn? Yeah, there's a coffin uh, of made of stone, and if you manage to kill him, he just turns into goo and then, boop, pops back up in the coffin asleep until he wakes up for murder rage again. It's literally the crow. <laughs> Kinda. But more anime-y. Yeah. Uh, who's, who's my uh, Omega team? Don't know. Who's my Omega team? All right, I'm finally here. It's me, Clunger Freud. Clunger? Yeah. <laughs> you done anger the SCP Foundation too much, and now I'm here to fuck shit up. You just sound like Kano. <laughs> awesome. It's not Kano. That's it's right. Clunger. It's Kano. It's Clunger. 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 Look the at me. The Clunger's here, ladies. <laughs> clunge. That's your patented move. The clunge. It's a lot. Lo- it's a very stylish lunge. Clunger Freud. <laughs> All right. And my name's Percy Thumston. Percy. Okay. Oh, perk up, perk up, Percy. Runner right. up to the Great British Bake Off. Uh, the reason they only won is because I helped them win. Because it's such a good thing to do. Okay. All right. You guys ride up to the facility. And <laughs> what's his face is on the roof. Pomodoro is on the roof. Yeah. What did you guys ride up in, by you the way? You can call me Bucky. Bucky. Well, they're fresh out of motorcycles, so we uh, we just came on a boat. <laughs> a boat? It's uh, Yeah, it's so a boat, we, but it's got wheels. Airdropped a boat. We took That's a right. double deck of heel. You took that duck boat? It's one of them uh, uh, air boats air that boats. you ride through the swamps. <laughs> and there's no water. It works on the cornfields, too. <laughs> Is it a hovercraft? Is that what you're saying? That's right. Okay, you have a hovercraft. Can we have a hovercraft? Awesome. That's right. Okay, sure. You arrive at this facility in your hovercraft. Oi, Pomo! Shh, How you shh, doing, shh. bud? <laughs> what? We finally made it here. I give him the There's... silence signal. Percy, did he just, he just shush me? Uh, and he, that's uh, you know, point down and and. Uh, Tell him I'll meet him inside with hand signals. I better believe you get your bitch slapping hand ready for him, Clunger. Roll me a perception check. Y'all, no. de- Y'all are already <laughs> dead. Pomodoro? <laughs> yeah, because you're on the roof. Uh, this time I got a 15. Okay. You see. <laughs> I spec into the perception off into the observance. Super like... fast, right towards. Those two? Percy. Yeah. <laughs> Because he made a loud noise. I made a loud noise. And what's Body. his face rolled a really high perception check. I made the loud noise. <laughs> Somebody did. Wasn't yeah. me. 
Who made the loud noise? It was fucking Clunger. <laughs> well, both of you are right there on the same hub. Well, I understand, but I think it should be fair who made sure. the loud noise. He's running towards both of you. Uh, Bucky just flops back where he was sure. in the hallway. You two have one <laughs> action. You see a like a blur of a human, just crazed, covered in blood. He's got two blackish-looking swords in each hand the- just ah, coming right at you. What are you doing? What do you got? What are you doing? <laughs> Go out fighting. <laughs> I uh, I, I see him him running at. Oh, you see him? That's right. <laughs> oh, okay, you see him. So what I take is I've got a I've got a like a like a three foot uh, piece of one foot one inch thick steel, right? And I plop it down right where he's gonna run. I'm gonna trick <laughs> this one to break his break his knees. It's gonna be great. Okay. I'm just gonna go into my pocket and take out something that's you know in my hand. Percy, his steel isn't made of feathers, mate. Well, uh, you'll, you'll see. What's in your hand? Percy, don't resign yourself to a dark fate, <laughs> you cunt. Get up and fight. <laughs> it's a cylinder of some sort. Okay. Like a grenade? No, it's not a grenade. It's just a cylinder. For right now, it's a cylinder. It's a grenade. Okay. Come on. It's not a grenade. Okay. It's a cylinder. It's a cylinder. So. With a. I'm going to wait to see what Abel is able to do. Abel runs up really fast. And that you just have a piece of steel sticking in the ground, right? Pointed at him. It basically, it's, 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 you know, it's about three feet tall. It's angled towards him, so sure. it'll hit him right in the knees when he yeah. runs up to me. Yeah, so he runs up right at it and fucking kicks it. And it just fucking flies Dude. right back and goes right up through your chin and out the top of your head. And you go flying with it you about gotta, 20 feet backwards. You got to read the dossier. Ah, <laughs> Dead as shit. Just destroyed by Abel. And Abel oh, I mean, turns quickly character. towards Percy. I put my hands out ready for a hug. Okay. And? <laughs> like... This world can be healed with love. Got it. He, I'm holding an action. Okay. And he he I've, lets. He, I've done a roll. Okay. He lets go of the uh, the bladed weapons. They yep. dissipate. And he jumps in the air and grabs each of your wrists, and then like a missile kick, but his feet hits you right in as the chest. As soon as he grabs my wrist. Okay. Uh, what's in my hand? Uh, I'm going to push down on the button. What is it? It's a detonation of the TNT <laughs> uh, vest that I'm wearing. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So, so, he rips off your arms. Abel and, Akbar! And, oh, no. God. And missile no. kicks you in the chest as you... So, it literally rips your arms off, but as you're about to fly backwards from the force of the kick through your chest, you explode, yep. <laughs> uh, which just completely obliterates the lower half of Abel. Oh, no. And he Percy just, thumps boom. Him. Percy is super dead. But as is he's, Percy still with us? <laughs> Percy's very dead. A, your arms ripped off, and B, your chest exploded. So you're very, very dead. Uh, so, yes. So you got to have those dead man switches. Explode. Uh, and <laughs> Pomodoro, you just hear this, mm. uh, and you, you, it's, it's very smoky. It's very hazy, um, but you, you don't, what it's do I quiet. know about Abel if he's injured? Like, does he just heal or what? No, he doesn't heal. You just uh, have to do a lot of damage to him to kill him. Okay. I feel like, I feel like, uh, TNT is pretty good. Um, you could look over the I'm wall. Gonna, and I'm going to look over the wall. Okay. Do you want to stealthy it? Or how yeah, do you do it's this? definitely stealthy. Roll looking me a over the stealth wall. to look over the wall. Uh, 15 plus 8, 23. Okay. You peek your head up over the wall, and you see that Abel is uh, from the waist down missing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you also see that his, uh, his. Let's see here. What about his hog? His hog's gone. Oh, no. No hog. Frank, that hog boy. It looks like his chest is seriously wounded. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of his arms are pretty busted up and burned, and his face is kind of mangled up. Okay. But he's not all the way dead yet. Uh, he's slowly crawling around. I'm going to raise my rifle. Okay. Do you want to use a rifle, or do you have any other armament? Oh, uh, can I look around the hallway of dead people to see if there's something better than a rifle? 
Maybe more explosive? Uh, I was going to say, you. I mean, yeah, the security have grenades. So, yeah. Could, does it look like the, the distance I could throw some grenades? You just drop it over the is side he, of the wall. Is he? Does he look like he could still do damage to people? Oh, pr- I mean, he's he, so looks, fast. he looks like he's severely wounded, but you know full well that he would still be very Especially formidable. If he, if, if, I'm not getting anywhere near that. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> as many not, grenades as I can find. Hold on, if he's up on the 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 roof, like he'd make it there. How quickly would he'd he nub, make he'd it nub there? there so well, fast? Well, we can find out. I don't want to find out. <laughs> um, Ask I've, him what he is doing this for. <laughs> no. Oh, hold on. No. Uh, He's not going to just answer me. I, I, my new character just showed up. I got to ask him quick. Questions. No, I, I get I get these actions. I find <laughs> as many grenades as possible. Okay. I pull the pins on them. Okay. And I dunk them on him with a dex attack roll of a twenty three. Okay. You just sort of toss it over the side and let go, and you just hear a chuckle, and then Fuck. a huge explosion, and lots of gory bits go flying all over the place. I look back over. Actually. Scratch that. Rewind a bit. You hear a chuckle, and you just hear a muffled, what's your name? Do you answer before it explodes? (laughs) What's your name? What's your name, he asks. Do you answer before it explodes? Scott Hopkins. Scott Hopkins. (laughs) Okay. And then right after you answer that. How dare you? (laughs) It explodes, <laughs> and you just see the gory bits fly all over the place. Whew. And it you're pretty sure that Abel is dead. <laughs> I cannot at believe least you did that. Dispatched I didn't even anyways. remember that was your character. Phil just pointed at it. <laughs> I, read, I read the cue card, man. <laughs> He'll read it. You put I just read the cue card. You're Ron Burgundy, though. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, that was uh, that was the other guy. Tucker. Well, Scott Tucker. Hopkins I thought she's meant Tucker. Becomes Abel, <laughs> and and Jesse and Shayna die. That's on y'all. Is that how it so, works? Uh, well, feel free to do a history check uh, to read up on the dossier to figure out what that I'm means. I'm dead. I can't do Not shit. You. You're dead. Yeah, the only one that matters. The one I that just called out someone's name. Okay, you read. Uh. Uh, so <laughs> it just takes it a long time. It takes, I'm, I am in like the, shock. I'm not taking information in. Apple. The sun sets and comes back up and sets and comes yeah. back up. He's yeah. just like, mm, mm. Pay, turn a page. It's in Braille. <laughs> oh, I don't want to kill Scott Hopkins. So you know that any time he is dispatched, he takes it uh, upon himself to see that person as an equal. Oh, nice. And like sees them in a different light, like it, like a oh, so it could be good in for a you. well. Hold, please. Sees them in a very honorable way because they are like a worthy challenger, like a Magneto uh, professor. And then he goes and continues to try to kill that person, like a Magneto <laughs> professor, because that's, that's who thing. killed him, and he really likes to have the challenge. Okay. The one so there's only one person in the history of the SCP who regularly killed him over and over and over again. It's not Alto Clef. No. Doctor Bright. No, it wasn't Mark a researcher. It was an MTF, and that MTF ended up dying on a mission. And Abel was pissed and murdered many other people because he was so agitated. That he didn't get the chance to kill him himself because he was such a worthy foe and that he died on some mission instead of dying in a glorious battle with him. So he sees that person in a very... So Scott Hopkins is now seen in a very honorable light. Like, he's up there on his pedestal. But also, he's going to kill him at some point, well, probably. I mean, just, well, how fucking nice for me. <laughs> well, I mean, how often if does he figures out where he back? is. Like, uh, so, I'm watching it back at Site 69. I'm watching on his helmet can. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do I have to report what's, this? Or? What's the respawn timer on? Abel? Well, as soon as he dies, he pops back up in the coffin. But it's an undisclosed amount of time so before he's the he time loss proto Drake. You never really know. Yeah, when you don't know when he's gonna pop back up, but he pops back up. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So you also don't know where his coffin 37? is. Thirty-seven. So. What? Thirty. I'm just doing meta math. Meta math. 37. Okay. So, yeah, you're all by yourself for right now. Uh, it takes you so long to read, though, that another group of uh, MTFs show up. (laughs) 
Oh, hey, guys. I was about to go down the stairs. I just you keep guys, rereading this paragraph over and over again. You roll up. You see that there is an MTF with a metal uh, pole <laughs> through his head <laughs> into a tree. So he's just stuck on this tree. He looks like a douche, though, so it's fine. Hey, guys, look at me. I'm <laughs> really excited to use that voice. I'm the captain I'm sorry. Again. I'm a captain <laughs> you decided now. not to be quiet. Captain Bucky is here. Hmm. Who are you, Theta team? I'm Bill Sarsgaard. Bill, Bill Sarsgaard. Sarsgaard. No relation. And my name no, is... Sarsgaard. I'm, Sarsgaard. I'm Peter Sarsgaard. <laughs> Bill Sarsgaard. Uh, and my name is Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Okay. Didn't you go to jail for drugs? No. Okay. I didn't go to jail. JTT, <laughs> head down the stairs. I'm going to head Take down the stairs. Okay. You guys head downstairs. Um, you're going to guess the easiest way to figure out what happened here would be to go to the security room. Well, yeah, obviously. And Duh. tap into the cameras. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Which will be down a couple levels, probably. And I'm going to upload my feed to the to Scott so he knows what's sure. happening. So you guys head down <laughs> a few floors. Fuck to you, where Pomo. The security room is, and you notice hey. that all of the sight rooms are unlocked. And the doors are open. Uh oh. And you're like, okay, well that can't be good. And yeah. uh, you see various signs that just indicate Euclid, Ketter, things like that, but doesn't seem to be anything in there. Oh, they're empty. Yeah, they're empty. Mm. You get to the security room, and it looks like you can easily tap into the camera and see mm -hmm. what went mm -hmm. on. It didn't look like they sabotaged that. It doesn't look like they gave two. They shits. want us to know. Yeah. Or they just didn't give a shit. So, yeah. So, are you going to turn on the feed and check yep, it out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, as you boot up the feed and check it out, that's what we're going to call it. So, thanks for tuning in again. Check us out next time. This episode of Bosch was brought to you by our wonderful social media that you should check out and follow on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yep. YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Bosch Podcast. This episode of Bosch was also brought to you by the wonderful Patreon producers. Your one of choice, Big Jim, the Nut Lord, Chronic, Skinner, b Mouse, Independent, Disgruntled, Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zucari, Scabby Goose, Shinigame, and Old Toaster by... Uh, mm. Toaster. No new ass has touched the throne. Mm. You want to support the show financially, head on over to freedomvalleyhorsepaste.com, dickblood.club, lizardteats.com, mookmoke.com, buythesviagra.com. Uh, Your mom's a pocket gopher dot com. Louisiana pocket gopher dot com. Damn you, Dennis dot com. Birds with penises dot com. Chicken jot church. Meeps creeps dot com. Chungo grande cerveza dot com. Mm. Party mormons dot com. Raul's moving castle. Rest in peace dot com. Chango grande dot com. Chug yo milk dot com. Denny daddy dennis dot com. Yeah. Or simply patreon.com slash botch podcast. Oh. Like our newest patron, <gasps> Sky. Mm. Welcome back, man. Hello. Good friend. Red. Welcome, Holmes. Welcome back. You want to support the show but can't do it financially? Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to the show, and leave us a five-star review. Chonky will open it up on stream. Thank like, you to Gozer, intro and outro music, Gozer underscore music. Thank you to so Swan good. all over the internet, out of Swan name, Emily. I love her. Send something to P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. Mm -hmm. And Chonky will open it up on stream. Like, like you, an idiot. Like you did today. <laughs> We salute you, you fucking lunatic Big Jim oh, 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 5. Big you are this episode's redacted. 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 Good job, Steve. Redacted. And as always. As you die doing what you loved. Nothing. Fucking rolling. <laughs> Scream botched. <laughs> and we'll explode with you. Uh, we'll see you next week, nerds. Our heart will explode on... <laughs> Turning off the recording. Do, 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 do. Well, fucking tampons are fucked. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are no more used tampons. They're only fresh tampons. <sighs> yeah, the going in loud thing doesn't work so great. Hold on, real quick. Well, I'm just, I'm happy loud. Bucky li li lived. <laughs> I mean, goddamn car. Drove it with a tank. Well, <laughs> you're that, fired yeah. off. I don't know. RPGs. We don't know.
Well, I'm sorry we didn't call? ride in on fucking uh, black jaguars. Hey, hey, mom, you're on you stream right now. You uh, say hi to everybody here on stream. Hi, mom. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, mom. I love you. Steve is also here. Do you have anything to say to Steve? Hi, Steve. Hope you're doing well. Fucking rips. <laughs> Why don't you love him? He loves you. Why? You're the one who called me. What's up? <laughs> it's Tuesday. All right, we're... we're we're going on, we're, we're going on. Okay, we're going on a break. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> we'll be back.
shows. And I was like the DM for Mike and Steph's podcast. And I couldn't remember Anthony's name. Nope, that's Phil. Yeah. There's Steve. Where is Steve? I'm putting this picture up until he comes back. <laughs> well, isn't going to fuck the whole camera system? Nope. No, because you guys are on normal cameras. That's true. That's why I don't do Zoom. That's true. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. We're back. Uh, minus a Steven. Uh-oh. I don't know where Steve was. I hope everything's okay. Just because my mom wouldn't say I love you? So Hi, finally getting, everybody! Just, get prompted to say Yes, I love just you. because your mom oh, wouldn't yeah, say she loves Steve. me. Oh, Steve's back! Fucking. Let's end the show! She, oh. <laughs> Alright, let me. Of course. Give always Steve happens. back his face. I love my face. Oh, that's Phil's face. I love your face. Ugh. There's Steve. Goddamn face. defense! <laughs> no, no, now no, Dennis no. is gonna have to pick that up. No, no, but no, he no. won't. <laughs> Not for another month. Not for another two months. I don't see any cans on the ground other than that one. And mine over here that I just drank. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I missed. Your defense is too good. You're in my head. Swish. Living rent free. I poop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I poop. I poop my pants. <sighs> now I'm just. We can get done at 9.30. We could. Good luck. What do you mean good luck? Good luck. What do you mean good luck? <laughs> You're the one in charge. No, now that you've told me that. Oh, it's going to be a three-hour run. Uh, no, I mean, I can just leave. Sharp. No, you can't. All right. Ready, set. I've rigged the car to blow. Five seconds of silence. <laughs> God, it's been a while. I could use a good one. <laughs> All right, let's I got to do what silence. I got to do. I'm going to have a body at five. Give me some Jaeger, Four. Three. Two, one. <gasps> Penis. By the way, you do have random booze up in the freezer. It's Tristan. not no, it's bad, it's bad it's booze. It's Jägermeister. No, you Jäger, get there's vodka, another one up there, too. Yeah, there's vodka, vodka up there, too. Right here. The bad vodka is upstairs. We're right, so fuck that vodka. We're taking it to Dragon Con. That's the, that is the. Uh, <laughs> we are not doing Blood Feud this year. Doesn't mean it can't go to Dragon Just Con. Just punch. Oh, we can give it to the patrons of the patron Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you're flying this year. With you. Yeah, how are we going to... You're flying this year? Oh, you yeah. You're going to try. What? Yeah, you guys get to babysit me. Oh, Good luck. no. <laughs> but somehow we got to get mushrooms down to... Uh... We don't. Good luck. Mail. Mail. I am going to drive again. Uh, no, I'll Mail just... them to Steve. <laughs> I'll just take my probiotics on the plane with me. I yeah. make the pills. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Is I'll, I'm going to be taking... Going to the... Dragon Con this year? Mm. I'm going to be taking so many Xanaxes that I, my least of worries will be the <laughs> illegal drugs <laughs> in my bag <laughs> that I'm taking on the tra plane. This is my gro drooling gorilla. I haven't bought my plane tickets yet. <laughs> Neither you have I. Or the Airbnb. Shinigami, have you gone? To, did we pick Shinigami up from Dragon Con? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know how we picked you up. Are you a, a Dragon Con person? Where did we find you? Where did you Shinigami find us? Shinigami came to see did, us at the live show. The last Where did drunk show. ass Chunky yeah. collect this person? Yeah. <laughs> You're mine now. Hell yeah. Okay, so Shinigami came to Dragon Con last Let's go. year. Let's go. Got it. Was it the uh, SCP that enticed he was at, he was you or you were just show. looking for something yeah. to do? No, he was at the live show, Dick. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking what enticed him to come to yeah, the live it? show, Dennis. That's what he came to. <laughs> the plane's gonna crash right into Steve's car. Right into Steve's car. If it's a car. Boeing, I'm not going. <laughs> Steve's signaling for me to go. That to one Mexico. hit that one. <laughs> for <laughs> luck. Knew nothing about SCP at all. Okay. So. Well, neither did we. Yeah, I still don't. Half of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, here's a cool thing. Uh, since you're now a patron, we're gonna watch some D and D. Let's go. Uh, we have a picnic, a, a cookout, a, a a patron dinner on Thursday night at Dragon Con every year. Mm -hmm. so. I cook. It's great. Chalk makes food. I yell at Steve oh, until he makes food. guac. Yeah. I make dessert. <laughs> Uh, I I I prep cook. We will be staying in the <laughs> oh, place. Did a great job. We so. make fun of Steve's yeah, cutting no, Steve skills is actually all day. A great suit. Well, they don't do anything. And if the place we looked at is still there, all of us will have our own bedrooms. Hey, oh, yes. have we told Kurt yet that he's not? Sweating? Well, 
the one Slinny place curve? I showed you, he can stay. He oh, just has to yeah. share a room with somebody. That's He'll have right. a bed, but he has to share a room. Well, we, we always, gave him the we king always rotate the couch anyway. Oh, yes. no, yeah, we gave, gave him the king last gave year. gave him the king room last time for some reason. <laughs> no, he rotated couch with us. For some no, reason? He no, didn't. no. He took the master bedroom last year. <laughs> he said, I want my own bed in my own room. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is He's a couple 16. years older than us and, okay. you know, probably is none of the close to retired. So. <laughs> well, did he pay us? He did. And if he paid an equal portion, he? Get, he gets a room, right? He gets a he got a bed. Okay, that was cool. the deal. He was going to didn't get a bed. That's I the got thing. the couch bed. Yeah. I mean, I, did, I slept on the couch one of those nights. <laughs> well, then yeah, yeah. Not by choice. <laughs> that was because I took your bed that one. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it was willing. No, you were very <laughs> in upset my memory. About it. You had left. You were. I took the you, bed. You were upset because wasn't upset. of something that happened inside the house. That uh, okay. Inside uh, the house, uh, and you ran away. And I was told that's how I deal with my problems. Then, yeah, you're right. And then that's, Dennis that's was like, "Free bed." That's not what happened. And I said, "Free bed, bud." That free is bed. not what Go. happened. Nice. Phil Go. came to me and said, I, I "Tristan left. Take his bed. That's he exactly. won't be back till tomorrow." Yeah. And I said, "Okay." Fine. And then Tristan came back. <laughs> it worked out, and we all love each other. Yeah, I know. I slept on the that couch. The funnier part fine. was when Steve knocked on the door, and I answered because he looked very confused as to why I was answering. Because Tristan's he was there story. to suck off Tristan. Exactly. And then you were yeah, there we, we had. But luckily, seriously. my pants were already around my ankles. So five dollar, no holler. <laughs> Anywho, the show can make as much needs to make as much money as possible, even if it's at you know from our own show. Mm-hmm. Previously on what? Squanched. My name is Scott Hopkins. I'm the one that killed you. <laughs> I like feet. <laughs> feet. Show me your feet. <laughs> oh wait, you can't because they got blown time. off. Welcome back, listeners. <laughs> or sorry. Welcome back, junior researchers, to the thirty seventh episode. Thirty eighth. Thirty eighth. Thirty eighth episode. The eighth and thirtieth. Eighth season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start not actually where we left off last time because this is taking place in the past. <gasps> as we are at site twelve or area twelve, I should say, before everything went to hell. I mm. thought it was fourteen. I said fourteen by accident and then said twelve. I did correct it. So get in post. 12. I fixed it. Site so, 12. It's Area 12. So, yeah. So, you guys are area. people working at Area 12. Who are these people just having a normal work Gotta day at Area name. 12? Got to have another name ready? I you told kidding you me? <laughs> beforehand what the oh. Uh, oh. order of operations was going to be for tonight. <laughs> you know, Hi, WeChat. everyone. It's nice to meet you. My name's Pumpkin Jones. Oh, God. Pumpkin Jones. My name's Ted Bagley. I'm a researcher. Oh, Ted. Get shit. Ted is always constipated. And what's your what's your role? I walk around with Pumpkin a diaper Jones. just in case it's loose day. What do so I he's do a researcher. Here? What do you do? I'm a field agent. Field agent pumpkin. Because that's where pumpkins are grown. In the field. In the field. Hey. That's um, true. It's I true. am Genovese Facili. Jen. Yeah? Uh, I'm a janitor. Okay. Excuse me. Custodian. There you go. I am a master of Clean the custodial specialist. arts. Mm. And this place doesn't run without you and your team. Nice. Jen's here. Well, you guys are just doing your normal day-to-day. And uh, I'm going to say, Jen. Yeah. You're cleaning one of the, the hallways. Turlets. Oh. I was going to say hallways. Hallway. And uh, all of a sudden, the lights cut out, and they turn to a flashing red. Oh, boy. You hear an alarm for a few seconds before that cuts out. Yeah, Jen just goes straight to the safe room. Well, you <laughs> <laughs> you notice that the hallway that you're in, uh-huh. all of the doors all that the are like SCP, are... they go from locked to unlocked. Click, 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 mm. click down the hallway. So- Run to your safe room if you can, because the doors are starting to open. How so? The custodial closet on this floor. Uh huh. That is my safe room. <laughs> sure. <laughs> how how far down the hallway mopping did I get? You were in the middle of the hallway. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Jen's gonna athletics it, pole vaulting with the with the mop if need be. Okay. Uh, to get to that safe room, I got a fourteen. Okay. Uh, you. Book it as fast as you can. 
I just and to your the your janitorial room has like slats uh-huh. in the door, so yeah. you can see kind of a little bit, but things can't see in as well. But you can see out, yeah, but they can't good. see in. That's good. Yeah. And you're in there, and would you like to roll a stealth to be quiet in the janitorial closet? Just like every other work day. Yep. Okay. I've got this down. I got a 16. Okay. <gasps> You're in there and you're pretty quiet. You do hear a lot of commotion out there. There's a lot of researchers asking, you know, what's going on? Like, what the fuck's happening? Uh uh-uh. mm. And don't uh, worry about it. <laughs> you hear, then you hear screaming. Jen's drinking. As someone's yelling, "Oh no, we have a sight breach!" And you hear uh, gunfire, and you hear wet squanching noises, and you hear screaming noises. That you're staying in there. <laughs> I put my Beats by Dre on. Sure. So I don't have to. Not taste. unusual to be loved, loved by, by anyone. Anyone. What are the other two doing? I'm, I'm not Boys making any head, rules. For um, you. you said that we heard squanching noises. Squanch. Well, he did. You're not in the exact same the spot. Has the squanch been released? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. It's like a the squanch no, is no, still no, under container. No, just the Szechuan sauce has been released. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Do you know what that is? It's from Rick and Morty? No. It's not? No, oh, it's I a cryptid it in PA. Oh, squanch? The no. squanch. It's a little fat pig-like rodent oh, that just okay. cries constantly. Okay, well, I'm Wait, did they steal it from Rick and Morty? Did Rick and Morty steal it from Pennsylvania? Most probably. Or a verb. It's, a, it's one of those... Verb. Steve, what are they called? The logging cryptids? Oh, uh, it's a fearsome critter. A fearsome critter, yeah. The squanch. The squanch. That's right. Okay. So, yeah. What are the uh, other two doing? What were well, you doing? Oh, that's a squonk. You're right. I'm wrong. I was Shame in an me. observation room observing. What were you observing? Oh, what SCPs are here? I'll pick one. Or you know what? You pick one for me. Oh, you know what? Let's do that then. That sounds fun. It sounds like a fun little game we can play together. <laughs> I hate you the more you talk. Um, <laughs> let's go D6 here. You are observing uh, SCP-811. Otherwise known as the Swamp Woman. Uh, okay. She's, she has a jungle yeah. habitat, like a swamp habitat mm-hmm. that you guys built. Uh, like everything's like temperature controlled. Like everything is a very specific way for said Swamp Woman. Um, and she's just having a good old normal time in her like swampy area. Um, when you see that the lights go out, start flashing red, Swamp Woman starts to freak out a little bit, and you notice that the door clicks open, and also on your observation room, so, like, all of the doors have just clicked open. I click my little uh, microphone into the Swamp Woman uh, holding cell, and I say, Swamp Lady, don't squanch um, a muscle I'm going to see what's going on. You just stay in your hat. I know you like to stay like moist and it's pretty dry. She squashes right out of there. Oh, she squashes right out. Shit. I'm going to get in trouble for that one. (laughs) Okay. I take off my lab coat and I know I'm going to get fired. I've been, it's too many. This is too many escapes on my watch. And I'm going to take off my lab coat and just kind of, Walk out of there like I, you know, I I was just a visitor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like out of the building or out of that room? Yeah, just right right out of the building. I'm gonna go get my car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you walk out the front of the building and you notice that an APC rolls up, uh, oh, shit. and a group of very heavily <laughs> armed individuals get out. Which oh guys, you know, I already quit. You can't fire me. <laughs> Yeah, they put a bullet you right in your fire head. Team. They ah! raise their M16s <laughs> and just kick out right, right in the head. Kick your out. head explodes. <laughs> Anybody else that's also out there dies immediately. Uh, they just gun them down. The MTF that are out there, there's, there's confusion because they look like MTF, but they don't have any insignia. And so they end up gunning a bunch of people down on the outside. Everyone gets killed on the outside of the building. And then uh, they start to meander on in. Um... Who, what are you doing? Pumpkin, Pumpkin Jones? Jones? Getting yes. drunk at work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm drinking out a job. That's the thing. What time is it? 
just kidding. It doesn't Mid-day. matter. I'm in the break room going through the, the refrigerator eating everyone else's lunch. <laughs> well, you're in the break room eating a, a Dennis Robinson senior special. Which would be what? Fried bologna. It's, well, it's a uh, two, two slices of buttered toast with some lemon and sweet bologna yeah. in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Better warm, but hey, whatever. You know Makes what? for a good snack. <laughs> You're a monster. I don't it's care delicious. because I... I... Oh, uh, quick aside. How's your daddy's eyeballs? Uh, he only has one now. Okay. The other one's non-functional. Got it. It's still in there, That's though. dark. Still in there. Still, okay. yeah. It's yeah. milky. Saw, Does it track? I saw him no, this week. No. no, no. no. Oh, no. Well, well, I, I you, you know, in the land of the blind, he'd left. be king. Yeah, get sure. out of here, Tom Waits. <laughs> <laughs> so We're yeah. not in Singapore, so we don't have to worry about that. That's fair. We sail tonight to Singapore. So you are eating that, and the lights cut out and oh, start no, to flash it's red. Not gonna stop me. You hear an alarm for a few moments, <laughs> and then that cuts out. <laughs> and you keep eating, and you hear and gunfire forbidden below down the hallway. And mid drink of my flask, I. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, what kind of ceiling is in, uh, in, uh, uh, above me? Um, drop? Hmm. I was going to say drop. not drop because that would be too yeah. easy for SCPs to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say solid ceiling with a vent. <gasps> oh, yeah, because uh, in the first episode, I was in the vents a lot. Well, this is a different facility. It's a different, site. It's a different <laughs> universe, actually. True. Um. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to pull the fridge out of the wall. <laughs> okay. Roll my strength. I don't know. Plus, what, three? Sure. Ten. <laughs> uh, it's not the easiest, but you are dragging Just it slowly. Fridge. You just need a little bit of space. Sure. <laughs> and get behind it. Okay. How tall and how much does but pumpkin like weigh? Pumpkin is... Little guy. Six foot ten. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a big son of a bitch. good roll. Yeah. Did you roll a D6 and a D10 to see? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Or D12? Yeah, D12. Yeah. Okay. Six foot ten. That's a big son of a bitch. And... You ain't hiding behind no fridge. <laughs> well, I, I, what if you got in like I two foot I was three? hiding. <laughs> Just standing. And I it. weigh uh, this one, two, and three. <laughs> 938 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> so you he are is, the fridge. fridge. <laughs> you are a fridge. Um, wow. So you you've know, just replaced come the fridge. In all He's, different shapes and sizes. Is he okay. a f- fucking sumo wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> so you're you somehow scooch behind the fridge even though it's like situated it like within a counter? You know what? Some <laughs> sometimes like a cat cuz I have many cats at home. Uh-huh. You just got to turn your bones liquid and then get behind wherever you need to. How okay. old is Pumpkin? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> pumpkin is... Pumpkin uh, can see over top of the fridge. <laughs> pumpkin is 30. Okay. Still got plenty of time to lose that weight. Oh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pumpkin's uh, like fucking Bender when he became human. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, you continue to hear gunfire getting closer and closer. I figure the heart disease will kill me first. In the hallway, sure. Um, you do hear the door creak open. Are you doing anything? I'm going to stealth. <laughs> stealth. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say disadvantage because you probably have a heavy breath. Oh, come on. You got a heavy breathing. You're also <laughs> six foot ten and 900 pounds. <laughs> How are you stealthing? <laughs> you have your own orbit. That's a great roll. That's a great I'll take a 21, Alex. <laughs> With this thing. Wow. Yep. All right. So in walks, somehow you're stealth but can still see over the fridge. But <laughs> it's just <laughs> the fridge is sticking oh. out away well, from the. Boys and head, I suck it in. Okay. I don't know what that does. <laughs> but. Like, imagine a counter that had an area cut out no, for a I fridge. I suck the it fridge in. is out from the counter. Head. I suck it in. It's a double I, wide that fridge. That doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still sticking out. But anyway, yeah, but he's sucking it in. I'm I don't give a shit. <laughs> so in walks a shirtless individual mm-hmm. who's covered in blood. Mm-hmm. It's very muscly, black hair, and um, he's wearing. Corset. <laughs> He's stop, wearing a corset. Stop reading the chat. <laughs> so. 
Mm. Very top heavy. So he just is like looking around. He's got a very happy look on his face. He's just covered in blood. Bloodbath. And he goes over to the fridge and he opens it and he's just looking around. And he closes the fridge and then he immediately looks and just makes eye contact uh. with <laughs> Pumpkin. <laughs> and he just smiles. And you see him put his hands on both sides of the fridge. Are you HR? And he just, <laughs> he says, no. And he just okay. slowly hold starts to push the fridge. No, no, hold on. Hold on. The hold on. I'm not going to suck in anymore. I'm going to push out. Good luck. Um, Before you do that. Nothing can defeat the bra. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I had some salmon microwaving in the fridge in the in the microwave. Uh-huh. Can, can I bring that over here real quick? God, I can't move. You got me pinned. But that salmon stinks. I don't want to be blamed so for it. He goes over. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I since, he, since he's six foot ten and nine hundred pounds, you want to roll to see if he's an anomaly himself. <laughs> you are not right. Is, 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 You've pinned yourself in behind a fridge. Is Pumpkin an SCP at that height and weight? Is he? <laughs> no. Does he have superpowers? He's just roll obese. for it. Just roll for it. <laughs> oh damn it! He has a minor gravitational pull. That's his super Blades are attracted to him. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> so he goes over to the microwave, which is like. Not even three feet away, and just pulls out the plate it's up here and puts it on, and the, I hit top on top of the fridge. Of the fridge. And I'm just gonna. <laughs> sure. Get my lips. I'm, I'm, yeah. Like, and then like he killer whale. Gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna belly bump the fridge. Okay. So that it gets Gunch. closer sure. to me every Gunch. time. Well, so Gunch. he's just like he put the plate up there, yeah. and he's just keeping eye contact oh. with you, but oh. he's oh. putting his hands on both sides of the fridge, and he's just slowly pushing you against I know, the wall. But, like, sir, I'm trying to. I want to eat this fish. Sure. Well, <laughs> it's getting tighter and tighter as he's shit. just continuously Don't do that. I'm pushing. Shit. Yeah, he just keeps pushing. Can I you. push against him? With you could try disadvantage or advantage. It doesn't. Whatever you want to roll, doesn't matter. I no. <laughs> yeah. Take advantage. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Take advantage. I got a twelve. Yeah. So <laughs> you try and push, though? and it feels like uh. So he died with a fish in his mouth. So. Just as you're about to get the fish, um, he smacks the plate away. Oh, that was rude. And he laughs, and then he just shoves the fridge the rest of the way, Truth. and just you explode into a meaty pulp as he smashes you against the wall. <laughs> oh, not pumpkin <laughs> And your Jones. head slides across the top of the fridge and off onto on the, the front. Plate. Yeah, onto the plate. <laughs> and he he just walks away. Meanwhile, in the closet. Genovese Fasili. Jen. Yeah. Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Ah, my intelligence is telling me to turn the music down. <laughs> <laughs> but I got an eight. You go no. You're dumb. Yeah. But yeah, you see, you hear lots of gunfire. Mm, nope. And you see. Still to ride this one out. <laughs> some green scaly creature. He's been in an American high school. He knows yeah. what to do. One, two legs walk by. And. Uh, you also see like the tapping of uh, four-legged, uh, red-skinned creatures nope. walking by as well, in like a pack. Mm-hmm. And uh, you hear multiple scientists screaming, and you hear blood squ- like squelching and splashing all over the place. And yeah, you just hear a barefooted foot the set of footsteps just go down the hallway and turn. So you're just there at that hall, uh, yeah. just uh, quietly sitting in your closet. Can I can I pull up the genitorial communication network? <laughs> Well, that was what your intelligence check was for. It's JCC. Everyone knows about that. JCN. He rolled a less than average intelligence. Sorry. I'm not part of it, so I don't know. I've only heard about it secondhand. And then uh, who are my two new random survivors in this building since the other two are very dead? Well, these are cannon (laughs) fodder, so I don't want to use a good name here. Now, voice in the head, I know you're pretending to not know the site administrator, Jackson Humberger, but it's me. The site administrator, Jackson um, Umberger. I'm here. That's right. You know, it's Jack's fine Numberger. if you want to play this little game. Okay, it's not going to serve you very well, especially in your upward mobility. Uh-huh. But I am here. Sure. Jackson Umberger, me, Jackson. site administrator. Well, Jackson, uh, you are in uh, the security office. Yeah. And you are seeing all of the feeds showing that uh, everything's going to hell. 
you immediately try and make some sort of communication out, but you see that it's cut. But you know, actually, roll me an intelligence check with advantage. <laughs> That's an 18 for checks and number. Okay. So you know that there is a secret secondary communication uh, network that you had set up just in case, and that you need to get to that and get That's a how message I get my out. Porn. Sure, you need to get a message out so that you guys could get some uh, help in here ASAP. Because you see on the feed that the chaos insurgency is mowing people down in the hallways and letting SCPs run free. Is, is the only people. way they could have done that if they had infiltrated the SCP to begin with? Probably. Hmm. Well, let me tell you something before you said that. Jackson Umberger, site administrator, mm -hmm. he knows this site like the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a problem. Okay. Um, I can definitely get to that secondary communications array and get a get a signal out. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Who's my other survivor? Where are you located? First, well, hold on. Voice and head. I wasn't Jackson? done. Jackson. That's okay. Jackson, I'll it's I fine. Know, I know it's Jackson, fine. No, if Jackson, you want to interrupt. Oh no, I would never. <laughs> but I would never. First, you I am gonna put out on all local communication our little radios that we all carry. Sure. Right, local communication. Not dependent on any sort of array or grid or anything. Yeah. I am going to put out, hey, this is the location of the secondary communications array. If you are near there, get to it, put out an SOS. Okay. This is Jackson Umberger, site administrator. And you said where they can get to it. That's right. Okay. Good call. <laughs> All right. Uh, your <laughs> office is on uh, like the third floor. Okay. I'll take it. And you know this communications array is on the second floor. So you have to go up a floor to get to this uh, secret room that looks like a janitor's closet. You put it in there because you figured the janitor will never spot it anyways. So he's now, not going to. Boys and head, I'm going to give you an opportunity to correct yourself. I think you mean I'm on the third sub-level? Third sub-level. And it's up on the second sub-level? Yes. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and correct yourself. I, you already did it. So you're on the third floor, and it's on the second floor. <laughs> That's what I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's my other survivor? My name and is... Hopefully you'll live longer than Jackson. My name is Johnny <laughs> Shinigami. Johnny. Johnny I'm a, Shinigami. I'm a kung fu swordsman. All right. But also, I'm a janitor here. <laughs> The okay. second janitor. Number two. Jan number two. <laughs> but I'm a kung fu samurai swordsman. Great, you're also Kung Fu on the is third. Chinese. Samurai are exactly are yep. well. He's multi does Kung Fu skilled. use swords? I use, I use a tan tweet. Kung Watch Fu can use fearless anything. ever. There are sword techniques in Kung Fu. Yeah. I've seen Johnny Shinigami. Got, got it. So yeah, Tinto. You're also Tinto. on the third level. Tinto. Tinto. Rin Tin Tinto. Got it. Um, what are you guys doing? I got my beats on by Dre. Yeah, you That's do. How we communicate. Uh, I'm and on the janitor, janitor uh, communication network. This is not happening. This I'm, is not I'm happening. up on the roof. This is not happening. You're on the roof. Yeah. Uh, why? Sweeping. <laughs> sweeping. <laughs> sweeping the pebbles into a, a pleasing rock garden Got it. shape. Yeah. You are on the roof it's sweeping. It's raining out, right? Yeah. It's, you, just, it's not raining. Little, it's we have a little totally garden fine out outside. Here. And a rock garden. there's also a helicopter coming. Well, good for them. I'm glad that they have no problem coming. Okay. I throw a grenade at it. You don't have a grenade. I take one out and then baseball bat, my, my, my Tanto sword, <laughs> you and, and Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper, it up to that uh, helicopter. Roll, tag. <laughs> Roll. You need, you need like a deck score uh, to seven. begin with. Got it. You throw a grenade, gets nowhere near anything. Whiff. And you notice they slide a door open with a fifty cal and just fucking <laughs> mow you no, down. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what? I get two actions. Sure. What's level? your other action? <laughs> I'm gonna backflip away from the fire. And the, the fire. The 50 cal, the what 50 fire? Cal. The oh, fire okay. of the machine gun. I'm gonna gotcha. do backflips. Into the building or off the back roof? Back into the building. Got it. Yeah. Roll acrobatics. It's a twelve. <laughs> High low. Hi. So you manage. You you're doing a backflip. Yep. And oh, also, yeah. every time that I'm facing upwards before I do my other back handspring, uh -huh. I'm taking the sword out to deflect bullets. 
while you're backflipping. Yep. <laughs> Kung Fu Swordsman. He's using bullet time. Here, I'll give you another by check. Uh, another He's high listening low. to Bullet Time by Jamiroquai. I got an yeah. 18 on my die. Cool, high, low. Hi. Okay. So you have your sword out, and yeah. you're doing backflips. Back and you're already flips. not doing a great job we're with the backflips. No, you got a 20. Above average You're doing job. A, a slightly to, above average no, job of backflipping. That an average person would do. Yeah. I went to uh, uh, a gymna- gymnastics school. Backflip school. In sure. Paoli. Yeah, we also have a sword in your hand, which makes it wonky. Well, I mean, I, And you're trying to I've deflect knuckle, bullets right? I can with a fucking, it. while you're backflipping. I mean, he's knuckle. filming a TikTok, so people so what, can... In your emulated. mind, this is like a very... It looks great. It's great. But in reality, you do one flip backwards with the sword in your hand, and then you just fall down the stairs yeah. into the building as the bullets you know rip why? through the door. Do you know why? Because I'm a drunken kung fu master, and that's what it is. Sure. He, he survived. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a janitor. Bullets rip through that door, but, but don't hit you. Me. But not through you. You know why? Yes. Kung fu stealth. Uh-huh. And the helicopter... Lands on the roof. What are you doing now that you've gone into the building? Sprinting down the stairs as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. But parkouring it, like parkouring. wall over banister, wall, wall banister. over banister, wall over banister, wall like over banister. Like that YouTube video you Athletics. Watched. And I farted at the top of the stairs, too. <laughs> okay. So they could give some extra propulsion. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're not doing great. No, that dice not doing great. You're mostly just He's falling over the banister of the of the South and then wind. rolling down the stairs, <laughs> but not like. Tuck and rolling down the stairs. You're just rolling down the stairs. Well, it's because I'm, um, I'm on drugs. What floor are you trying to get down to? What floor? How many floors are there? Oh, there are five levels in this building. Um, three. Three. Basement floor uh, three. Jackson, uh, Jackson Umberger just told you over the radio to try and get to floor two to activate the sub so the janitor's closet. Right. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to go to two. Okay. Wait, am I in two already? Yeah, you're in that janitor's closet. You're in that room? <laughs> but you got your beats on, so yeah, you're I not can't hear shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, yeah, I know where the janitor closet is. It's yeah. on two. I'm going to go It's locked. There. You open the door, and no. there's immediately somebody there in a gas mask with red lenses fully kitted out. I'm going to slide under them like Johnny Cage and put my tan toe right into their fucking groin. Roll me an acrobatics first. It's called a whoopsie check. That's a critical 20. Let's okay, go. you do. You slide on a rim now, roll to attack. Whoopsie! That's a critical 20! <laughs> so. Oh my god! You and roll lightning under. Lightning strikes twice for everybody. You slide perfectly under him and then tanto up through his taint. Johnny Shinigome would not be And all of his taint blood and everything just rains, roll, over rains down onto you and he just sort of twitches for a while. And then what I'm going to do is like a flick of the wrist. <laughs> And shoot all the blood off of my sword. And then he falls down and dies. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to get up it. and do, uh, just walk to the janitor's closet. Okay. You see, as you're walking towards the janitor's closet, down the hallway, there is a green scaly woman with yellow frog looking eyes just squanching towards you. Is uh, <laughs> she between me and the janitor's closet? Yes. Is there another way to get to the janitor's closet? Uh, no. Great. It's a hallway. I'm going to ready myself up okay. and like put the blade. She's not running. She's walking towards you. Oh, I understand. You. Bum, bum, bum. And I'm going to give her one of the Matrix Let's Go, bitch. Okay. Roll a deck save. <laughs> Roll a deck save. <laughs> What's your deck score? Hold on. This is seven. Blah! And she just launches this spew of black tar-like liquid that just spews all over your face. You are now completely blinded, and you also, your mouth is like sealed closed. She's like, a fucking dinosaur? You're having a hard time breathing. You know what? I mean, it's also very hot fighting, right? and burning, and no matter how you pull at it, it's I'm very not, tar-like. I'm not pulling at it. I'm, I'm centering <laughs> my kung fu daredevilness. For only a sanity say it, check. For one last attack. There's a nine. <laughs> you're not doing well. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not keeping it together. <laughs> you're freaking out. I'm going to, before I lost my sight... Uh-huh. I saw the distance of how far she was. Uh huh. I'm gonna start sprinting, slide under, and tank attack same with attack. my tank toe. Okay. One attack. Uh, it worked. At- it worked. Athletics with disadvantage. Okay. All right, come on. You gotta use your. Because uh... not only did you fail, well, you you're blinded hey, and everything, but just... also your sanity failed. So. That's a Let's double go. 19, so 22. Okay, so you're definitely gonna do a slide. You made it, made it to her. Roll to attack with disadvantage. Come on, baby. 
Oh, that's a seven. Okay. So you roll, you're, you're running down the hallway. You you would normally make a noise, maybe, but your mouth is sealed up with whatever, with this tar-like liquid, and you slide, and you stab upwards, and you don't feel anything, and then all of a sudden you feel like this sticky, soft touch on the side of your face, and you feel your body just starting to melt away into, Aww. like, nothingness. And anybody who, like Jackson, you haven't left your room yet, so you see on the camera that the frog woman has literally no. just sidestepped him very easily and just touched him. No! And his body is melting into a goo, which she absorbs into her body. And then she just continues on her way. Well, that's what you get for studying Japanese kung fu. <laughs> uh, Jackson Umberger, site administrator, very familiar with this site, Voice in the Head. I don't yeah. know if you know this. I'm going to uh -huh. tell you. As you're already aware, this site, Tons of back doors, secret passages. Yeah. Uh, Jackson knows every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use as many of those as possible to his advantage to get to that communications okay. right in the closet. You leave the room mm -hmm. and you hear a, a loud explosion. And mm -hmm. you notice that there is like a shock wave that goes down the hallway. And you I notice, do have my uh, HKP 30L up and ready it's fine. in front of me. You don't see anybody. But you do, like, for whatever reason, there's a very strong breeze coming down this hallway, like some sort of force of air. And it looks like um, cherry blossom petals hmm. blowing uh, down I've, the hallway I, right towards you. Now, you, I've had being the site director. I've had my fill of samurai kung fu masters today. <laughs> sure. Well, God damn it. Kill Bill references. Enough of them. Sure. Well, no, you being the site director, roll me, you know, roll me a, a, a history or intelligence check with advantage because you're oh, the yeah. site director. Well, that's a 19 on the die. That's a 16. So, yeah, that's going to be a 22. You're pretty sure that that's uh, the petals from SCP-143, otherwise known as the Bladewood Grove. And these leaves, while light pink and a little translucent, they look like smooth glass texture, are actually razor sharp, harder mm -hmm. than most man-made substances, lighter than aluminum and tougher than titanium, and will literally rip you to shreds. Well, I take out my shield that is made of diamonds and hold it up. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? High low. <laughs> low. You have a shield made of diamonds nice. that's right i do oh, that they gave yeah, to the site, site director. director yeah they pay they pay us pretty good here sure. the, the benefits are, are pretty nice to so be like, site director here at area 12. so like catch america you sort of huddle down as the petals just hit your diamond shield you hear the tink 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 and but like it's weird because when they're blowing past you they just look like normal petals um they they fly the same everything they just look like normal petals but yes they are uh Absolutely making a lot of tinking noises as they hit your diamond shield. So you can turn uh, them onwards. Yeah, I let, I let them pass, and then I continue on through the network of secret passages and back doors to the second. Okay. You get down to the second floor. Meanwhile, who is the next person attempting to get to that second floor? My name's Dankster Friesman. Dankster Friesman. Dankster Friesman, man. I'm the uh, Foundation site botanist. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's that? He knows all the plants. The website. <laughs> We're not updating it anymore because there's too many fucking names. So when the season's over, what I'm gonna do is just put the surviving people that made it at the end of the last episode, Nobody. man. <laughs> Dangster freeze, man. Got one job: fill in the cemetery. There is too many fucking <laughs> names, man, and like. I tried to, but then episode four happened. Four. And I was like, no, not my problem anymore, man. This is my- That's this what you is, get for listening on two times speed. This is what yeah. I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put survivors at the top, man. Man. Dankster Freeze Man. Okay. Dankster nice Freeze cold. Man. Yeah. Oh, uh, what floor are you located? So on? I'm in the second floor. You're on the second floor. Okay. Yep. And what what are you what were you doing on the second floor? Uh, cultivating. Cultivating. Cultivating the seeds, you know? The seeds. Yeah. Okay. Well, cultivating them seeds. Sure. So, 
you are cultivating them seeds in the same room that there are a uh, series of tanks of sewage. It smells terrible in this room, by the way. Why would I be doing seeding work in here? Man? I don't know. Maybe because my fertilizer? Work. I don't know. Well, I'm asking. Like, I'm the fucking scientist. Illegal drugs. Gotcha. I should know why these are here. You know? sewage. I don't know. Is it fertilizer or is it just the shit from Oh, every- no. Those tanks have an SCP in it. Um, oh, but they- they're multitasking this room, I suppose. What SCP is it? It's SCP-153, otherwise known as drain worms. Oh. They look like sea lamprey almost. Hmm. But they love living flesh. It's yeah. my lamprey, mommy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so while you're working in there cultivating your seeds, It's like bro, reverse sushi. Uh, you notice that the lights go out. And yeah. it starts to flash red. Okay. And you notice that the protective fields on said sewage tanks have terminated. That's not good. No. And you hear the sploshing noises of the uh I'm gonna hit that the worms. That in breaking switch. case of emergency box. Okay. And I'm gonna take the It's a uh, gun with one bullet. <laughs> no, it's not. It's got fucking uh discarded limbs in there. And I'm uh-huh. just gonna throw it towards the eels. Okay. Throw the limbs in So that they eat the flesh, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Feed the monster, right? There's, there's three large vats. Okay, I you leave. You throw a few limbs. Good. That's a good idea. I leave, man. Because you hear you hear them starting to copulate, so. I was also Why? copulating until they had to come in here and cop my fields, Why man. Are you copulating? No, I'm cultivating. So cultivating is different from copulating. You know what? Semantics. Mm. Anyways, you exit, and it's chaos in the hallway. There are numerous dead bodies. Uh, you hear gunfire. I start throwing those bodies in the room, man, so that those eels can get big and strong. <laughs> okay. You know, because the more you feed them, the bigger they get. Yeah. I that know. Is true. I read the report on yeah, it. Yeah, they man. get up to be 10 meters long. Th- you know what? That's like 30 feet. Uh huh. <laughs> you want a 30 foot worm? I mean, multiple. It's normal size for me. <laughs> sure. What are you doing? I, I, I walk out, man, and just kind of assess what's going I quit. on. <laughs> you see uh, the scaly swamp woman going down the hallway. Am I behind then, her? Yeah, you're behind she her. She doesn't see me. No. What other rooms are in here, man? Uh, so there are other SCP uh, secured rooms that are not filled with SCPs at the moment. But yeah, you see. I'm gonna start sticking my head into these other rooms and kind of get a feel. <sighs> Empty. They're not being. They're not containing anything right this second. The swamp gonna, woman's room has stuff in it. I don't There's wanna also be in the swamp room, man. I don't. Okay. It's too humid. You sure. Know? There's also uh, the room with SCP-939. What? The room with SCP-939, which 939. are the dogs that can mimic. The mimic dogs. Yeah. The pounder puppies. Sure, the pounder puppies. I don't want to go in that room either. No, probably not. I don't like dogs, man. Uh huh. I'm more of a hacky sack kind of guy. Sure. You see somebody with a samurai sword run at the swamp lady, That's and not then get go well. no. She get, he gets turned into goo, and she eats him, <laughs> and then continues <laughs> I, on her way. I laugh about that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to start smoking weed in the middle of the hallway. Well, once I find an empty room, I'm just going to get a little, yeah. There's a little. There's empty a little rooms. Spliff on. Sure. Okay, I do that. I work better and faster if I, you know, have my my head on loose. Okay. I do that. Okay. Okay, I go back into the hallway. Okay. All right. You're in the hall. You're a little lit. This is great. You hear someone yelling for help down the hallway. I bet they do. Bet they do. Like, is there anybody still alive? (laughs) He just smokes. Same, bro. Can they hear? <laughs> can they hear what I'm thinking? No. No. How would they hear what you're thinking? Because like, <laughs> they could, man. Did you ever think about it? No. What if like they have their radios tuned to the correct frequencies since I'm vibing on different frequencies, man? Well, while you're vibing, that's why it's important to say "ha ha," just kidding at the end of all your thoughts. All of all your thoughts, like that's why when you like think about something and about somebody in public and they look at you like. I heard that motherfucker, and you're like, just kidding. Mm. I didn't really mean it, but damn, you do got a fat ass. So while you're <laughs> vibing in the hallway, that's where we're going to take a break. And we're back. Uh, so what are you doing, Mr. Vibes-a-lot? 
I'm going to like walk towards that voice I hear in my head. Okay, it's down at the end of the hallway. That vibes a lot, man. Your vibes a lot. No. Sir vibes a lot. I'm Dankster Freeze Man. Dankster vibes a lot. Got it. Come on, don't disrespect the one freeze my name. man. This is my new character. <laughs> I didn't see I didn't yeah, give, definitely could live long. I didn't give myself this name, man. It was given to me. Uh-huh. So you continue <laughs> down the, the hallway. Of By the bud. gods of Bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. El and Chicho and Chonsky. Sure. You you get down towards the end of the hallway, and you hear, it sounds like right around the corner, um, a little bit distant still, but you hear, it sounds like a woman uh, crying, like sobbing a little bit nope, and asking I've for played, help. I've played a lot of goddamn Left for Dead. Not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> no surrey. But she's speaking English. That's fine. She's on her fucking own. Okay. I'm not getting tricked by no brujas today. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let it go. Okay. I know there's a lot of trickster monsters down here. Uh-huh. And if they work at the SCP and they're crying, then they know what to do, man. Sure. Just cobain yourself out of here and start Break over. Break that glass. Okay. You notice that an individual with a diamond shield is coming down the hallway towards you. Boss, bro, <laughs> I'm gonna stand. How many times have I told I'm you not to call me, bro? Really still, like a tree, and just breathe. Lower my heart rate to like let it let it pass. What are you doing? Oh, your corporeal. Did you? I touch him. Get my message. <laughs> no, my phone's on silent. You guys Hold are like on. ten feet from that door, by the way. Hold on. Anyway. Come with me. You do and see. I'll continue. I don't. Hold on. We gotta go back. I left my phone. No. I, don't have my uh, phone I grab on. him by the belt. No. Oh, you know. You think I'm wearing a belt, man? You turn and look down that hallway, and there is a member of the Chaos Insurgency. I with shoot a gun him straight in the head. Okay. Roll to attack. Yep. And you have a human shield because you grabbed. You human. He's got a human shield, shield and a diamond you shield. You can't have two shields and a gun, man. You can. You just tie the shield to him. 21. The most OP counter. What kind of gun do you have? Loadout. Was it again? I have a HKP30L. Okay. So, yeah, you just sort of pop it over the shoulder. You use uh, Dankster. Dankster as a human shield and also as a leveler for the gun, and you <laughs> fire it right over oh, his shoulder my ear, in man. his ear. And yeah, it hits this guy right in the uh, one of the eye holes for his gas mask. And he sort of twitches a bit, hits the one wall, and then falls down. I'm never going to be able to hear the dead the same, man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's not executing the dead, you. man. <laughs> you could have told me to duck. I just, I just let him keep talking as I keep <laughs> gun fighting. Sure. I also have a good weapon, man. A good weapon. weapon of choice. You have a good weapon. It's a yeah, good weapon. It's a good weapon, man. And you do have a belt on. That's what this piece of hemp, to, hemp and rope tied in your belt loops that I'm uh, holding on no, to is. No, it's an extension cord, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know we gonna need power, man. Five thousand. Power. You didn't man. even bother to put put Julie on. No. <laughs> Ew, gross. Chemicals, not for me, man. <laughs> I'm really Plant conscious pheromones. about what I put on my body, man. It's not right, going right. to be that. Sure. No chemicals like uh, tetrahydrocannabinol. Oh! Right? No, man. <laughs> None of that. Just land of lakes. Land <laughs> anyway, of lakes. you are so fired if we make through this alive. All right. So Is the that... janitor's closet is literally right there. Yeah, oh. I open it. There is a janitor huddled <laughs> on the floor Punch-out just jamming out speed. with his beats on. Are you... Fuck his radio me. is on the floor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double push his headphones off. Bro, this guy is pretty angry. You better. I am surviving. Well, I mean, like I get it, man. The nine to five, fucking Monday Friday, we're all surviving, man. I called in an order, a site wide order, to activate the secondary communications array in this. Very room. Ten I minutes ago, on. I clearly <laughs> I forgot it about the JCP. I'm sorry. Get out of the way. Fine. God. I click the button. Well, so actually, it's a poster of Rita Hayworth, and you you just pull it open, and it's, huh. it's a little thing that you can there's activate. Button, I click it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little screen with a bud? microphone. Yeah. Uh, Do you say there's Bud Man? I hate this guy. 
and you hear uh, a little static for a little bit, and then you just hear, um, hello, this is Tucker from Site 69. Can Tucker, I help you? Tucker, man, it's Dankster Friesman Hi. from Site 12. Tucker? Yeah. Jackson Umberger, Site Director. Area oh, hello, 12. sir. Hey. What can I do for you? Um, Look, first of all, thanks for submitting your application for transfer. We're looking into it to get you over here, get you to a place where, you know, your skills can really shine. Thank you. Secondly, I hope there's no chilies anywhere near there. Uh, there is a containment breach. Almost everybody's dead. The chaos insurgency is here. Abel is loose and, and, and slicing people to death. I need you to send a team to They've infiltrated us. the SCP. Trust no one. And the, all of a sudden, the feed cuts. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, so then the feed cuts. Do you want to buy some bo books? <laughs> Roll me. Was he going to say books? Was he going to? Roll me an intelligence check, Jackson. And that's another 22. Okay. You know, you singularly know that you guys had been doing some secret espionage work for the O5 Council regarding a missing SCP. And you were, uh, you had, your site was gathering data. And that data is located on a thumb drive. That data. That I keep in my ass at and all keep times. in your right ass. Here. So you need to get this someplace where <sighs> the, whoever comes to rescue you will find it, even if you don't make it. But you also need to make sure the chaos insurgency doesn't find it. You also don't want to put it over the fucking radio <laughs> because, as he just said, trust nobody. Where's the nearest you. fridge? Uh, there <laughs> is a break room on this level, I believe. Mm -hmm. Or was it the next level? Up? I can't remember. I think it was on the main floor. We're on main two. floor. There's yeah. a break room on the main floor that has a fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Trust you just got to get up one floor. Well, well two floors. gentlemen, no, well, here to go out Trust in a me. blaze of glory. Oh, yeah, man. I've been waiting to hear that. My well, entire light him up. Life. Do I have to go out? Are you? I. You get to go out. You get to go. Uh, if you can actually supply, because I'm a little light right now, I'm, man. I'm right behind you. But like, I can certainly pay you Tuesday for some hamburger today. Ham bud today, man. Can I see your gun? <laughs> no. Ah. Okay. <laughs> hey. I'm going out on my terms. No, come on, man. Hey, hey, right out with me. What? Right out with me. What does that mean? And we we got to get out of, right out of this room. You put the mop between well, your know, legs or a broom, and mm -hmm. it's a pony. Exactly. I, I, I mount my mop. Okay. Right out with me. I need... I, I sound the horn. <laughs> so, voice and head, yes. Jackson uh, Umberger here, site director. Yeah. I'm going to wait until they charge out with no weapons <laughs> okay. and no hope. <laughs> sure. And then I'm going to use the secret passage that I know is located in this janitor's closet yep. to go up to the next floor. Sure. And break. Okay, go, man. I was that's the that's the poster of Raquel Welsh. And, right. Um, Correct. Yeah, it's yeah, a little, it's like a little years service BC. ladder. Yep. Right. It's a little service mm -hmm. ladder that goes up to the next floor. <laughs> right. I was never going with that guy, man. He fucking, you could tell. Shoot him. Tell what? I could tell, man. He was off. Tell what? He, would, he was we, off? We wouldn't vibe together, man. All right. Talk about broom riding. Was it broom riding? No, so, man. I'm not going to broom ride with you. I drag him with me. No. Roll strength. Man. <laughs> or gravel check or something. Uh, I got a 14 on the die, and my strength is... Now you're making me roll my strength for this guy, yep. man? <laughs> my strength is a 13, so I got a 15. God damn it. All right, so I rolled a 13. Oh. You need to get a plus, a plus two, or... Yeah, you need plus two. Six, is five, that a six? That's a, that's a one. That's a one, so... 11, 12, 13, which is you a get plus... You get a plus one, so well, I win. win. Yeah. Damn it. So... <laughs> right so, out with me. So he drags you out into the hallway... <laughs> To a squad of uh, chaos insurgency members that are at the end of the hall with guns up, flashlights on them, but there are weapons strewn about on the ground around you, so you could conceivably pick up a gun and attack, oh, or you sweet. could just yeah. ride at them. No, I'm gonna roll and grab that, grab a gun. Okay. All right, Dex with a with a twelve to pick up a gun. Uh, yeah, you pick it up, and then I'm gonna fire at them. Okay. 
What's Am I proficient? Was it 15 a plus uh, two? You know how to shoot a gun. Okay. I fire with a 13. <laughs> 13. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like it hits any of them. Hmm. Or if it does, it looks like it just hits body armor. doesn't Shit. really do anything. You can fire again, though. As uh, he's doing that, like... I shoot uh, Dankster. Okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> Damn it. you can do that. Choo-choo. I got another. Th- I got a thirteen. That's not gonna hit me, man. What are you What's wearing? What's your AC? You, you don't have any. Your so What's on. your dex? No. Roll your dex. Well, you de- roll I your did strength. roll my dex, man. My dex was a fifteen. Which is a plus, plus three. It's a plus, plus two. Eight two. Eight. Plus Wait, two. What do you mean plus two? And you're wearing cloth, so twelve. So thirteen is above. Yeah. Yeah. I shoot. I shoot Dankster. Hey, sh- sh- <laughs> Just to this shoot guy forever. Stacks right ahead. That's not fair, man. Like I was about <laughs> to say, I but I only up... rolled a three for damage. So okay. So you just take off some of my uh, dreads. The ear. <laughs> Shoots them in the you ear. You shoot my dreads off. Yeah. Now the same ear they got hit before, yeah. man. God damn it! I'm gonna have to listen to the I, road in mono we, now. I man. praise my brothers from the insurgency. Hail insurgency Hydra! Are you actually part of the insurgency? Yes. I don't know. I'm a janitor. Deception. Probably. High low. <laughs> you said there was an infiltrator. High low. I'll go with a low. No, you are not. God damn it. I pretend like <laughs> I am. You pretend like it. I shoot him in but the I fucking am knee, now. man. <laughs> so you shoot him. All right, roll to attack. Uh, 15 plus 2. It's going to hit, yeah. Shoot yeah, him in definitely. the knee. With what? Uh, what's my die, man? Are you actually in the insurgency? D12. A D12? <laughs> He shot me in the ear, man. I'm going to shoot you in the knee, you I traitor. I did seven damage to him. <laughs> yeah, my knee fucking falls off. <laughs> you shoot him in the knee, it goes down. <laughs> I say to the insurgencies, there's a hidden fucking passage in this break room, man. <laughs> going up to the next level. The site director already has the thumb drive. He's waiting. Be careful. Take what you will. Kill all that you see. Is he part of the insurgency? High, low. High. No. Damn. No, you can't play the odds. He was high last time. <laughs> but I'm a fucking dangster, man. So, but so it would be better for the story just... if you would have said yes, Dennis. It <laughs> but really would have idiot. But it's funnier for them to just mow you both down. Did he know the about wife. the thumb drive, voice and head? He no, he tell didn't actually. It. Yeah, so he can't tell. So he couldn't about tell about the thumb drive. But he told about everything else. Um. So yeah, so both of you just get mowed down in a hail of gunfire. You would think after eight years he would understand like the fucking basic rule of improv is like, oh yeah, that's funnier if we did that. So yeah, it's funnier to murder but you. But nobody the else, nobody else thinks it's funny, including people that listen to this show. You don't know that. You don't talk to anybody. I literally, you mute the dudes with me. All right, so we're dead. Yeah, you two get shot. Poor in the hallway. Uh, Jackson. You're going up yes, this ladder. You've been betrayed. That's right. <laughs> and you notice that there is a package um, taped within that um, ladder, like well, if you will. Looks like. Am I aware of any drops? No, there is not supposed to be anything in here. So you're not sure what oh. this is. It doesn't look like a, like a bomb. It looks like a um, like a uh, like a satchel of sorts. Like a cloth satchel that was just sort of like roughly duct taped like, on this like wall. Like a satchel bomb? Not a satchel bomb. Does not look like a bomb. It just looks like somebody roughly like taped. Okay, this but thing is up it a bomb? It. I mean, you could open it and look. Satchel Sanchez. Uh, fuck it. It's. A, I open. The, yeah. It is. Sorry. Hold. 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 Please hold. Hold. It's a book. Ooh. And it says, Site 69 Field Manual, Addendum, Raoul's Roll. <gasps> Within these pages lies the secret to learning Raoul's Roll. Oh my God, you need to know that. Read while you this climb. This is one of the SCP's most <laughs> guarded secrets. Read while you climb. Well, luckily, uh, Jackson Umberger, site director, is an accomplished speed reader. I <laughs> okay. read that right away. Okay. And now I am a master. Of Raul's roll. All right. Uh, we'll then roll me a D10. Okay. Roll up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> he could do it. Raul's crazy. Yeah. That's an eight. You have eight uses of Raul's roll nice. in a single day. Wow. Um, it's a feat of acrobatic. 
And additionally, any of those uses can be used to make Raul's Abuela's roll recipe. Let's go. When having access to a kitchen, yeah, which is a 1D4 health potion or something. Yeah, love it. All right. Thank you, Ikea. <laughs> that rocks. So you Excellent. get up to the top of the ladder. You open uh, the door, and it is the break room. And mm-hmm. the break room smells of stinky fish. <laughs> and also, there is blood death everywhere, Iron. as it looks like a very fat individual was crushed behind a fridge, and there's a severed head on the ground. <laughs> it's really big. It's very large head, <laughs> like a not like normally mm. large head. I'm gonna make a mental note to reiterate with the O5 Council my next meeting uh, that we really need to um, instigate some. PT standards for the SCP <laughs> Foundation. This is just it's embarrassing. So wait, is what the, this is. Is the fridge like crammed into a rib cage and the rib cage is around the fridge? Uh it it looks like the fridge just cr- like uh, if you've ever watched those pneumatic press videos yeah, where yeah, they yeah. put so- it's like that. Like he so was just, just like pink slime Exactly. Yeah. It's a yeah. smashed pumpkin. Nice. Yes, like a very mm-hmm. smashed pumpkin. But yeah, that's what you see. You're in the break room and you hear what sounds like uh, people coming up the ladder, and you also are going to guess that they probably somehow know about this room. So uh, very quickly, uh, I'm going to unkeister the USB drive, okay. and I'm going to open the fridge and find the jar of void mayonnaise that is in every SCP site's fridge, uh, okay. marked with duct tape that says... Uh, O five zeros mayonnaise do not eat, which <laughs> okay. we've found is sufficient to deter any and all tampering by any site personnel. Okay, and I just shove it down in the void mayonnaise, seal it back up, close okay. it. Okay, you do that. You have a matter. You have like one action before somebody comes up that ladder. Do you want to stay in this room? Do you want to get out of this? Now room? they're coming up the ladder behind me. Yes, the one that you came up. Okay. Um, shit. Well, I suppose I could run over as quickly as possible to the ladder and just give it give it a nice little uh, kick right there on the head on the head area. Okay, so you're just gonna kick the one that's on the top in the head. That's right. All right, so you run over and there is somebody almost right at the top. They go to draw a gun. Uh, roll me a strength to kick him in the head. Sure. With advantage. Sure. Right in the Ooh, neck. Even better. Um, that's a 20, not that. Nice. Yeah, you, you kick this guy in the head, and he sort of like, uh, and he sort of falls down. There's a few people on the ladder, so they just kind of sort of get stuck together a little bit. But yeah, The corporate it, ladder. The corporate ladder. Yeah. As they uh, plug up Secret. the ladder well, voice in the head, uh, Jackson Umberger, site director, yeah. is going to do his best to make his way to the helipad. He, he heard these motherfuckers coming on this, on this chopper. Okay. And uh, he's not going to let him get away with this. Okay. Uh, um, if there is a grenade nearby, sure. I'll just plink, chunk it into the uh, the tunnel there real quick. There so is a dead MTF problem. in this room, so yeah, you can... you can. Yeah, I'll just grab, grab a nice frag grenade, toss it in the hole uh, it. with the ladder real quick, and just smile slightly, not unprofessionally, sure. when it explodes and they become bits of human. Oh, yeah, just goop flies everywhere. It looks like that uh, entire section has collapsed and, like, fallen in and whatnot. But, yeah, there's just – it's on fire. It's a lot of damage. Uh, the stairway to get up to the helipad is very close by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so feel free to make your way. Sure. I do. Okay. Uh, you make it up to the top of the stairs. Also, what are you doing with the book of Raul? Uh, ooh, oh yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna. There's some dead bodies on the stairway up to the. Uh, yes. Up to the up to the what you call it the yes. the helipad. Yeah, there's just shoot. shove it under one of those. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right. Maybe somebody can retrieve that later. Sure. So you get up to the top of the stairs, and there is a helicopter right there. Mm-hmm. Is it taking off? No, it's just sitting hmm. there. All right. There's a cage on the back of it. There is. Mm-hmm. What's in the cage? Nothing. It's empty. The door's open, though. Fantastic. Are you a good helicopter driver? 
Hmm. Hmm. You've got an out, bro. Do I have stealth camouflage? No. Mm. I wish I did. <laughs> Out of God. <laughs> Out of God. <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna start up that helicopter. Okay. So you get in the helicopter. Uh just roll me a quick intelligence check to make sure you know how to drive a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Oh yeah, that's a that's a seventeen. Wait. That's a sixteen. Okay. So you get in the helicopter. There's no you don't see any chaos insurgency up here. But you start yeah. up the helicopter, and you know the blade, the blade's starting to whir around and everything. It's going to get away. And you uh, notice that the side door opens up, and there is a olive-skinned, black-haired individual there with uh, no shirt on. Bucky? And he literally... <laughs> well, I, I say hello, Abel. Jackson. How are you, sir? I'm doing great right now. I've wanted to kill I, you I imagine you're enjoying time. yourself. Oh, my I God. I imagine you're enjoying yourself. So it. much fun. So well, much more fun working for the chaos insurgency than the SCP. Well, let's not drag this out longer than we have to. And I try my best to hold that diamond shield <laughs> up real quick. Sure. Uh, so you you hold up the diamond shield, and he's not like trying to cut at you or anything. He just reaches in and grabs you mm. and throws you quite a distance. Uh, the diamond shield flies off the side of the building, and you are now like. I would say a hundred yards away. Like he threw you a far distance, and you actually. And I tr no, he's throwing me, but I'm going to try to land with a Raul roll. Okay, yes. see if I can mitigate that damage. Sure, roll your Raul roll. One of your eight Raul rolls. <clears throat> can you do a roll midair? Too? That is a natural twenty. Hey. So you are thrown, and it looks like you're gonna you're gonna crumple up into a heap or whatever. But you instead instinctively through somehow you know from. Not even having to do it before, you, you but you hear just, Raul's voice in your head. Do the roll. Just do the roll. <laughs> just do the roll. And you know do it. Know your roll. Know your know roll. <laughs> and you perfectly execute a Raul roll, which you've only ever read about or seen in like footage, but you've never uh, I've only known it in theory. Yeah. Really. yeah. You see a penguin in your only mind's one eye has ever been able to do it. So. <laughs> so you perfectly execute a Raul roll and then pop back up, and you. Turn and look, and Abel, like, cocks his head. He's like, huh. <laughs> and then he jumps the entire distance to where you are and lands right in front of you. Fuck. <laughs> and he goes, I tell you what, Jackson, that was a hell of a Raul roll. Mm. And he puts his hand out for a handshake. Well... No one will ever accuse me of being unprofessional before I die. And I give him a handshake. Okay. And uh, he shakes your hand and then pulls this sword out of, like, nothingness and just stabs it up into Damn your it. belly. Oh. And as he's stabbing you, that is where we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next you time. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Bodge Podcast. This episode of Bodge was brought to you by the Patreon producers. Your weapon of choice, Big Jim, the Knock Lord, Chronic Skinner, B Mail, Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zucari, Scabby Goose, Shinigami, and Old Toaster Bath. <laughs> Take that bath. Zappy. Take a bath. I thought you were going to say something else. Oh, uh, well, normally you're like. Oh, a new ass has not touched the throne in a month. <laughs> You want to support us financially? You can do so over at freedomvalleyhorseface.com, dickblood.club, lizardteats.com, mookmilk.com, buythesviagras.com, louisianapocagophers.com, damn you, dentist.com, birdswithpenises.com, <laughs> chicken.church, chugyomilk.com, damn you, <laughs> yeah, we already did that, daddydentist.com. That's me. Shmee. Uh, ChungoGrande.com, Raul's Moving Castle, Rips.com, PartyMormons.com, ChungoGrande, MeepsCreeps.com, or simply Patreon.com slash Bosch Podcast. Want to support the show but can't do it financially? Head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show. Leave us a five-star review, and Chonky will read it on the show. Yep. <laughs>
Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. Check them out on Spotify, Gozer, or all social media, Gozer underscore music. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to Emily Swan for her album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Hi, Swan. Send something to the studio. P.O. Box 3178 in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. Trogi will open it up here on stream. Face first. Mm. And as yeah, always... Brain, go, go, go. Steve, you want to do it as the site director? Mm. You're muted. Here, let me... Go, All right, yeah, yeah, hit me again, hit me again, hit me again. And as always... When, despite meticulous preparation and an amazing propensity for absorbing an absurd amount of words all at once learning new skills, um, handsomeness out the ass, um, lots of money, power, charm, charisma, and a, a pretty nice suit. You still get stabbed in the gut and die like a pig on a hell porch. Uh, scream botched, and we'll gurgle you. See you next week, nerds. Before we get on out of here for tonight. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, we're still recording, right, Dennis? Yes. We <laughs> salute you. Shinigame SPQR. Uh, 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 uh. Johnny Shinigame. You are this episode. Redacted. Redacted. All right. Steve. It's me. What's happening over there on YouTube? Spring break. No. I, our, our YouTube. Who's, He's just recording YouTube videos. Who's in spring chat? Break. Has anybody said anything on YouTube? Oh, yeah. A Qualcomm stopped by <laughs> before, uh, before they went to bed. What a boss. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, yeah chatted a bunch. Thanks, man. Why don't you thank the people here in the Twitch chat? Sure. Thank you to OO Elia, OO Alessa, H F Edes, Eight Row, ASMR Mew, Mew. Donk Seven, Dank Freeze, Dankster, Grapsnat, Groove is for Life, Itch. Joseph Ziger, Mark Zinnick, Multi. Hold on. Real quick, uh, oh, Groove, Jim. Grooves for Life. Uh, which is our sound guy to uh, yeah. Dragon Con. Oh, dope. So. Uh, just got affiliated on Twitch. Nice. nice. Hey, congrats. congratulations. Congratulations, Scott. Uh, everybody go, go over and follow, give him money. Uh, yeah. uh, follow him, give him a, a heart, and uh, watch his streams. He does music production normally. Hmm. So watch him play bass and make music. It's great. Nice. Sorry he looks like that. me. Thank you to Multicolored Mind. Thank you to Pusha Regresses. Shinigami SPQR mm. and VL Mercy. No uh, VL Mercy right. for you. That's right. Uh, we are off next week as we record a Patreon episode because I will be at my kids' first baseball game. I can't come in. Um, baseball or T-ball? Baseball. All right, let's go. Mm. Full pitch. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we'll be back on the s week after that, right? What was it, the 16th? Mm -hmm. I know how to do math. Sure. Yep, the 16th will be back, 23rd will be out again, and then we'll be back on the 30th. Big 3-0. Yep. Uh, as we start climbing our way through the end of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, Dennis, yes. you funded your Kickstarter. I did. Great Good job. job. Thanks. People, people missed it. They did. Where can people go if they still want to get the uh, book in print before it goes to print? You can go to www.likeinbook.com. And there you can hit a little button that says, hey, did you miss out on a Kickstarter? And it'll take you to a Google form. Fill that out. Say what rewards you want and where I can get in touch with you. And then we will set something up where basically you can get all the same stuff you would normally get in the Kickstarter, but you'll get it after the fact. Tristan. Dragon Knight Adventure Friends has continued to record season two. Mm-hmm. It was fun. I had fun. I was on there had a great uh, time. the last week of recording. It was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Uh, but what's even more fun than what we recorded was season one. Where you, can people find that? Spotify, iTunes, everywhere that you can find a podcast at Dragon Knight, N-I-G-H-T, AdventureFriends.com, where you can give us two enthusiastic thumbs up uh, with your five-star ratings. Just a bunch of little guys. Just Little guys doing D and D. Just little guys. Just a bunch guys. of little guys. Me and Steve and all our guests. And and friend John, of the show, John Schwartz. No, no, you can just John. say John. John's 
been here for for the new iteration of Bond. She mm-hmm. was two enthusiastic thumbs up. True. We're uh, just innocent men. <laughs> just innocent men. Uh, it's wonderful. Steve's on spring break. Steve, I know you're not YouTubing, but you got a wonderful back catalog yes, of YouTubins. I do. Where can people? First off, where can people find your YouTubins? But you can also, go to YouTube. Dot com. That's what, it. That's the whole. You can go to YouTube and find it. What, but <laughs> what, what video are you proud of that people should go out and watch? What video am I most what, proud what of? Proud, what video mm. is like but. you're pretty proud on? But also, damn what, it, Rick. didn't get as many views as you were hoping. <laughs> uh, here is the deal. If you like long form criticism of a very specific element <laughs> of film, uh, broken down in meticulous. Uh, almost autistic detail. <laughs> oh my god! Um, um, you go watch right my uh, the action in the Mandalorian season two is bad, it's and great. here's why. That, that is a good a video. video. I it's watched an it. hour of me yeah. breaking. I that watched down. it. That's no, great. And I since dislike the Mandalorian. Yeah, it's it's weird how uh, it was almost it was a podcast episode length YouTube yeah. video, which YouTube video is really that's. That's too long. Season one of Mandalorian is still mm, great. But S- you. Video S- here's is a the big good thing days. about that video is that it didn't feel like a fucking hour because of all the work that you put into it, Steve. That, I spent uh, two days counting laser beams <laughs> over eight hours of Star Wars. Wait, no, because I watched the OT as well. Oh my god, that was a long two days. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but it sounds like video. a fun two days. Very good it was video. good. It was worth it. Uh, and you can find me on Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. Uh, we are making our way through Metroid Fusion. But stupidly, we have done the Philip Scared Stupid and we have gone back to Outlast 2. It's been about four years since we've played it. It's the game that fucking ruined me on stream. And uh, it still sucks. I still fucking hate it. Uh, so if you want to watch me play horror games, that's every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern at Imaginary Nomad on Twitch. And then we do Mondays and Tuesdays retro streams on that same channel at 10 a.m. Hmm. All right, guys. I think that about does it. Uh, I want to say real quick thanks to everybody here in chat for the hype train. That was uh, dope. Super unnecessary, but all appreciated. New high score. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you to Multicolored Mind for the buttons and cards. We will be putting it on the shelf of shame at the front of the studio. Uh, anything else before we go? Wiener tacos. Wiener tacos Mm, it is. We'll see you next week, nerds. Bye.